Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in Firewatch. That's right, it's a brand new game. We're not in Mini Metro, we're not in Mini Motorways. I know you guys really love that game, but I want to check out Firewatch. It's a really emotional action adventure game that I've always wanted to play, and I thought I'd play it with you guys here on the channel. So let's just go ahead and hop into a new game. There's a lot of dialogue at the start. I'll read through it, and then we'll get into the game. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Oh, I guess we gotta click uh, that there. All right, Boulder, Colorado, 1975 quite some years ago at this point. You see Julia. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. So we got some options here. We could go, so, what's your, you know, major, or you, you're pretty. I think we're gonna go with the classic, what's your major? You slur the words major and it smells like Coors. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says, and I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours, she asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology? Burn. Ooh, <laughs> was that a burn, you ask? She says definitely. Worried she hurts your feelings, she asks you if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you, and Julia, you are Julia's boyfriend. Okay, looks like we're in an elevator here. Very nice elevator. I like the graphics. All right, let's go ahead and grab our backpack here. And it sounds like the elevator's coming to a stop. And I imagine that's our truck there. Yeah, we're the only one around. Let's go ahead and throw our bag into the back of the truck. I don't know if I'd do that, I'd just put it on the seat next to me, but that's neither here nor there. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy undersized beagle Julia is in love with. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Let's go. Well, of course she loves the beagle. Uh, we're going to pick up the beagle and she names him Bucket. Bucket's a good dog and a week later you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him too. 1979, so we jump forward four years. You talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30 p.m. and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Kids? They're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple of little idiots. That would be pretty good or one day, why rush? Let's go ahead with the, the pretty good. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are gonna be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. All right, we're hopping out of our truck here. Oh my God, look at this. This is beautiful. I mean, this game is like five or six years old at this point, but look at the graphics. Look, oh, look at that little leaf. Hello, little leaf. Where are you going, my friend? Oh, disappeared into the grass there. What we got over here? Fire danger. Uh, is that extreme? Today, prevent forest fires. Well, thank you, my friend. All right, let's come over here and check out this board and we'll get jogging here. Thoroughfare Trailhead. All right, well, Thoroughfare Basin. Thoroughfare Lookout. It doesn't really say where we're on the map, but that's that's okay. Let's see, don't forget to check in. No fireworks, that's key. Uh, you're in their country, learn to live with bears. And Thoroughfare Trail is not recommended for inexperienced hikers. Thoroughfare is a primitive backcountry trail. All right, so let's, uh, let's see what we got out here. Looks like a little letterbox or something. Probably had maps in it if we wanted to. God, just look at this. This is, this is beautiful. 
I don't know if I've played a more beautiful game than this. 1980, so now we've jumped up a year. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. You get mad. You ignore her. Well, I don't think either are a good choice. Um, I guess we'll get mad. You call her an inconsiderate asshole. Mm, not a great thing. She tells you to mm, yourself and not to be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. Not the greatest communication there. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You can pose and flex like He-Man, or we can frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. Uh, we're gonna go He-Man, of course. You look awesome. Ooh, this is a little bit of a long drop. Yeah, it's getting kind of dark out. We're still hiking? God, look at that sun. That sun is absolutely astonishing. Wow, look at the shadows. Guys, if you've seen a be more beautiful game than this, let me know in the comments so I can play it. But this has got to be the most beautiful game I've ever played. All right, two forks, fire lookout, eight more miles still. Looks like we got quite a bit of way to go. Space bar to hop over this fallen tree here. This trail's actually, for a primitive trail, it's in pretty good shape. 1982, during the summers, you and Julio enjoy walking bucket at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Holy crud. Bucket gets kicked. Baba, mm, the dog, Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. You scare him away or you beat his in. Um, we'll scare him away. You reach into your pocket like you've got a gun and threaten to kill him. You manage to scare all three of you. He runs away. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay, you don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. 1984, so we've known each other for about nine years now. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julie gets offered a job at Yale. Yale's in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants you to move, or she wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job, agree if she commutes back and forth. Dude, just move with her. Um, all right, let's go ahead and commute back and forth. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you don't want to move. You tell her not to pass it up if she if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. 1985, so we've known each other about 10 years now. Julia sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost another colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try and forget about it. No, you always talk to someone about that type of stuff. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She's 41. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. All right, looks like we're tucking in for the night. We got our bag there, our sleeping bag, a little Coleman lantern in our uh, journal. Let's go ahead and grab our journal here. Take a peek, see? Ah, there's the He-Man. March 5th, 1985. And, oh, I couldn't read that that quick. Well, at least our character here likes to journal. Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. 1987. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in her class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your onboard child, little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into the bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family. They are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. 
you count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple months. You decide, you decide to move her into a full-time care facility. You're determined to take care of her by yourself. Ooh, uh, what would I do? I, uh, oof, I would have to. I'd have to take care of her by myself. There's no way I would be able to do that in good conscience. All right, so we're back on the trail here. God, just look at this green. Look how vibrant it is. It's beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. A little fog and mist down there. Jeez, these stones, the rocks. Great job to the graphic designers in this game. Absolutely stunning and beautiful. Across this log here. Don't fall off. Oh, there's, a, there's an elk. Hello, friend. How are you? Oh, no, don't run away. I just want to say hi. Goodbye. It's impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her. Like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter, drinking then too. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while she, you're gone. You put a chair in front of the bedroom door. You trust her, you trust that she sleeps like a rock. Gotta go if the sleep breaks the rock. Door, fire, with a, a no, no good. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off your shoulders. You're home and in bed by 1 a.m. a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. 1989. One night you get stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow a .10 and are taken to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Suzanne. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state of your house. The, the state your house is in. Wow. Uh, then you tell they then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming, and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. All right, guys, as promised, that was an emotional start. And here we are in the game, getting ready to go into the fire tower. Thoroughfare lookout. All right. So let's head up here, get a little more of a jog going on here. And let's just go up these stairs and get into our fire tower for the night. Look at that moon, though. Look at that. Jeez, that almost looks real. And the clouds? Ugh. I, I can't believe this. This is just absolutely stunning. All right, let's get in the door here. And turn on the power, generator switch, boom. We got power, boys and girls. This is our home. Hello, Two Forks Tower. All right, let's go ahead and grab the radio here. All right, hold left shift to activate the radio. Um, hello, whoever this is. It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I... What, sleep? Forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Alright, you've killed three ex-husbands. You're rebelling against your mom. Nobody back home can stand you. Uh, let's go with you killed three ex-husbands. Okay. Uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow and you're just out here until the heat dies down and then you'll kill again. Ooh, very good. Bravo, Henry. Okay, I sleep now? Not quite. Now you. Okay. Good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you, but nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Huh. Is that it? Close. Good night. <laughs> good night. Welcome to the job. That was a good introduction. I like that. Day one here in Firewatch. 
Ah, the typewriter. I love that clickety clack, clickety clack. You probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. All right, let's talk to Delilah here. Sorry, guess I slept in. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Woo. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? All right, let's let's see which way is west. I don't Those think fucking fireworks. Which way is west? Do we have a compass? Oh, and to use compass. Okay. I need you to confirm. All right, west. Can you see them? Let's look out this window. There they are. See them? Boom! Fireworks! Boom! Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set him straight. Uh, let's. Ooh, we'll go with this one. I can't say that word though. Kick the shit out of him, sort of straight. No, 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 no. Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Good to know. Um, convenient. Convenient. That's one word for it. All right, well, let's uh, let's grab our pack here, and we'll... we'll oh, do we not take our pack? I guess we're not taking our pack. Oh, there we go. We're grabbing our pack. Let's go, uh, let's go stop these fireworks. All right, down the stairs we go. Boom. So as we walk down to the lake to stop these fireworks, if you haven't liked the video, go ahead and uh, like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see this whole series all the way through. Uh, let's see, we are in Thoroughfare Trail. Uh, where is the... All right, so we're at the lookout here and we need to go to Catch 306 and then down to Jonesy Lake. So I think we need to go back this way, it looks like, right? Yeah, I think we need to go back this way. So let's go ahead and put our stuff down. And then we're going to head down to the lake here. And we'll get that box with the rope in it. Anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it, especially if you want to see all these beautiful Firewatch videos. I mean, like, look at this. This is just absolutely stunning. Ah, I, I can't believe this. this is just such a beautiful game. All right, let's head down this way here, down here. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Am I going the wrong way? I am going the wrong way. All right, so we need to go back the other way. That's embarrassing. I promise I know how to read a compass. Good thing we can get a little jog going here. Henry, uh, Henry needs to get his steps in. Hopefully he's got his phone on him so he can track it all. All right, back up here we go. That's embarrassing. I'm so sorry, guys. Just wasting your time here. Wasting everyone's time. All right, back up the hill. Here's the fire tower. All right. And then let's go... I think it's this way. I think I needed to go down this way. Here we go. Here's the trail I wanted. All right. Let's go open up the 1, 2, 3, 4 combination safe box. Um, is it this way? What's this say? There was something that popped up. Hey, I can see your tower. Oh, let's do that. Yep, that's me. Bye. Oh, not much, eh? Alright, uh, is it this way we go? Am I just that lost? 
All right, let's pull our map up here again. Nope. Zoom in. All right, we're kind of heading the right way. Now we are. Okay. Oops, I keep wanting to pull out the radio. I keep hitting shift to run, not R. So if you ever do play the game, it's the R key to, to run in this game. Which, so far, I highly recommend you guys get Firewatch. Right now, the Steam sale's going on. 100% recommend. Here we go. Here's the box. All right. We got the supply box. Um, found the supply box. I found the supply box. Great. One. And I can hear the fireworks in the background. Two, three. And let's get this up to four here. And there we go. Unlock that. Perfect. And looks like we got a map and a note. Uh, copy the information over there. Catch 306. Map updated. Beautiful. Uh, let's just take a peek at this note. Uh, and we can read it. 7786. Ron. Hey, man. Guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars he liked. Hiking into the park. But let's get when I get back, Dave. Oh, how nice of you, Dave. Appreciate that. Let's go ahead and I guess we'll hang on to that for now. Um, oh, we could have called uh, Delilah about that. Let's go ahead and tell her we found the rope. It was right where you said. Great. So you should be set to get down to the lake. Perfect. And then we'll tell her about the... People just stuff these things with old food. That's how you get bears. We'll eat it. Those boxes are bear proof. I wouldn't worry about it. All right, and then let's go ahead and close that, and uh, we'll keep heading down towards the lake. And there I am hitting the shift key again instead of the R key. Mm. You guys are probably going to see me whipping out that radio quite a bit when I really meant to uh, go for a little jog here. All right, I keep hearing the fireworks. I can't see them anymore. It's kind of covered by the trees right now. Coming into some little meadow here. That's nice. It's so pretty. So pretty. All right. Oop. There they are. All right, let's get over there. Rope hook. Okay, so we got to hook our rope up here uh, so we can go down the shale. Go ahead and hook in there. Whee! So, as some of you guys know, I actually just got back from a nice trip to Patagonia where we were doing some stuff like this. It was actually kind of fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, you know, sometimes these shale faces are not the easiest to climb. Oh, no, no, wow, that no. that doesn't, oof, no fun, falling down a steep rock face like that. Yeah, the radio make it, didn't get smashed, that's good. It's getting kind of dark out, though. All right, report climbing accident. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. <laughs> Well, glad they're at least somewhat concerned. All right, that sun's getting low. Just look at the orange. This is so beautiful. All right, we're in the meadow. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. Oh, there's a fire or something up there. Yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. Tons of beer cans here or something? Yeah, let's report the beer cans. Of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. Oh, clean it up. All right, we're going to take a minute here to clean up Mother Nature. I hate people that litter. So we're, even in a video game, it just bothers me. Take the 10 seconds to clean up after yourself. I mean, come on, guys. Leave it cleaner than you found it. All right, there we go. There we go. What do you like people with shitty manners drink shitty beer? What, you don't like a cold muskwell light on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Better than these fucking litter bugs, though, that's for sure. Looks like they left their packs up there. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. All right, let's clean up these beer cans over here. And then I think we can stomp that fire out. Oh, we're going to take their fireworks. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate, confiscate them. those. Perfect. Ooh, there's a bottle of whiskey there and a campfire. So let's oh, go ahead look, and... They decided to have a campfire, too. Stomp that fire out. The fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account plain stupid, does it? Fire's out now. Good. And then let's uh can we confiscate the whiskey oh, bottle? Shit. Ferret or Irish. Um I left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. We're well, not gonna save for later. Let's go and put that back. Alright, so let's get down to the lake here 
and um, do what we need to. Oh, there is a. I'll let him say it. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. <laughs> and a pair of underwear. Yeah, there are uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say mm, that. Another. Word. Why? Because you're twelve. There's a. Uh, ooh. Yes. <laughs> we'll go with this one. Naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone. But there's, you know. Two. Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. Okay. Uh. All right. So we found them. them in the lake. With sparklers, it looks like. I know you guys are setting up bottle rockets out here, okay? How? Because you're hiding in the bushes, spying on us? Give him a break, Lily. He probably hasn't seen boobs in 20 years. Oof. <laughs> He's probably still a virgin. Why do you guys think it's alright to just stare at girls? <laughs> uh, I know. Uh, let's just go hey, if we just took... Just so you're aware, I confiscated your fireworks. Our fireworks? What? Dick! Also, setting off fireworks out here isn't just stupid, it's illegal. Yeah, so is stealing, asshole. That's so fucking bogus. You're gonna pay for that. Can we just get out of here? No, totally. You're gross. You're just some sad man out in the woods. At least they didn't call us old. And they're gonna go hide behind that rock. Alright, let's see if we can turn their radio off here. Um... Uh, Nope, we can't. Okay, so we'll just put that back. Hey, that go okay? And yeah, it, it went fine. Went fine. Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. You're welcome. All right, so let's get back to our tower, which is I think just kind of right up there. Not sure. Looks like we're going to follow this creek back up instead of going through the shale. Look how this canyon is just, just such a nice orange. It's so pretty. I like it. Cross this log here, and up we go, and another jump here, boom, all right, perfect. Oops, kind of swaying there a little bit there, bud. That might have been my fault. I might have been hitting the, the D key a little as we were running down that slope. That's okay. Let's just turn around and look at that. Isn't that so, so pretty? I have a bit of a confession to make. What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I woke up new to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Alright, how do we, um, how do I get up? Uh, I can see my tower, how do I get back? If it's the one I think it is, there should be an old trail the Forest Service closed off a couple years back. And I'm sure the reasons for closing it off had nothing to do with safety, right? Oh, it what was that? Out that storm? A death trap. So, you know, be careful. As a storm rolls through, nice. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, let's get out of this box canyon. Yeah, right, because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. Mm. Uh, I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. <laughs> not gonna strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. Oof. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. Alright, let's check what this over him. here. Suicide. Would you believe? <laughs> Okay, sorry, we shouldn't laugh at that. That's a serious topic. All right, so we know it's one, two, three, four, two, three, and we'll get this up to four here. Unlock that, and let's see what we got here in this box. Got a nice map to copy some more information down. Looks like we're at site 303. We updated that. Pretty picture. Uh, deer antler. Yeah, I get the sense that not everything in here is useful. In the boxes? Why's that? I don't really know what I'll do with the deer horn. <laughs> Firstly, they're called antlers. And secondly, stay out here long enough and you'll get creative. 
Interesting. I don't know what she's trying to imply there, but let's go ahead and uh, grab the flashlight. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Sorry, guys. Let's go ahead and resume the game there. Uh, we'll report our flashlight. There's one in there? Great. Well, the sun's going to go down soon, so if the batteries still work, you're in luck. All right, we'll go ahead and take that flashlight. Let's see if the batteries work. I guess not. Oh, there it is. Nice. We blind ourselves. All right, let's go ahead and close this. And it looks like we're going into the cave. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. Oh. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. All right, looks like we got a locked gate. Ooh, we could play a little joke Doesn't here. Doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa. Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it. All right, uh, this we'll report the locked gate. This gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so <laughs> maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, oh, sorry, Hank. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, play with the echo. Did anyone respond? No, thank God. Alright, uh, let's it see. It looks like the path leads through the cave. Back in the cave, huh? Man, I don't need to lose another lookout in there. Uh, another lookout? They go in. Oh, look, it's dark. They never come out. Now look at it. Yeah, we just got out. Ah, so this is another one of your jokes. Yeah, it is. Yep. Nice. Okay. Let's head up this way. Oh, there's a figure. Hello, friend. There's some guy out here. That some happens from time guy. to time in a park. Hello. Wait, he's he's walking me. away. Don't is walk away from me, friend. I, I don't think. All right, so. let's go get him. Let's go and say hi. Hey, there's, there's something I, something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's outside. Come on. The whole thing. And jump. When people come and go as they please. It's, it's, it's madness. Where'd he yeah, go? Yeah, okay, I get it. He was. Look, bumping like right here. In the Why is it? Did he climb up that way? All right, let's climb up this way. Let's see if we can catch this guy. I want to say hello to this person. Let's get up these rocks here. Is he going to be up here and like kick us off the rocks or something? It's getting a little windy too. You can hear the wind in the background. Get up on top of this rock, climb these rocks. Ooh, that was quick. Alright, we got to be getting close to our lookout tower too. Yeah, and a little tired. That was, that was a little bit of a climb, boys and girls. Alright, and we're going to keep running. So there's the path we were coming up. Alright, some more rocks to, to scale. Let's get up here. Was that him on the right? I couldn't tell. I might have seen a little light or something. Alright, and then we're going to climb these rocks. Is he going to be up here? No. Alright, trail close sign. Well, she did say they closed off this trail. Yeah, I'd be a little tired after all that climb. Oop. And the sign goes down, and so do we. Not the uh, not the greatest. Let's get our flashlight out here. Do we see him anywhere? I don't. That's our tower. Um, uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but you know, anything for the service. There's our tower. Anytime. Ah, it's a bathroom. Um, so it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom. You're a man, Harry. There's our generator. Go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. <laughs> and there's our Jenny. This generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas, and well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so. What about my hair dryer? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. <gasps> Wait, why is my typewriter on the ground? Uh. What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell... You should get inside. No, shh. Ooh, let's get upstairs, quickly. 
Wait, if our typewriter's down here, that means someone came up here. There's someone in here? No, but the place is, oh my god, ransacked and broken glass? Someone broke in. What? Hey, what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. My fucking sheets are gone. Someone stole they my stole bed sheets? sheets? That's just mean. Yeah, it sucks. Calendar, what else happened? Ransacked cupboards? The place is trashed. They took my books. There was some books here. How dare they? Um, some more ransacked cupboards. I believe this shit. Okay, um, I put in a call. That was, that was fast. fast. Yeah, well. Do you have any idea who could have done back. this? I don't know. Who's out here? I mean, I don't know either. I've never had a lookout be a target for violence. Great. I, I can't believe someone would do this. I mean, I worry about bears and fires and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about who knows what out there. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Uh, let's go if don't, don't worry. worry about it. Oh, you can protect yourself, huh? I just don't worry about it. Perfect. Keep that attitude up and you'll have an excellent summer. He's not wrong. Let's go ahead and turn on the lights. Day two! Alright, what an interesting start to the game. Uh, we'll let this load here and then I'll go ahead and do my sign off really quick. Once we have a second. Alright, well thank you so much for coming out and enjoying Firewatch with me as Delilah talks in the background. Uh, if you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. We're going to go ahead and finish the entire game. So if you want to see how it finishes, be sure to come back and get all this content in orderly time and in a ooh, timely and orderly fashion. Wow, I can't remember my own tagline. But that's okay. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Wake up. Hey, wake up. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. <sighs> Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna wanna go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay, alright. And here we are. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Hopefully you enjoyed that introduction to day two here in Firewatch. If you haven't watched the first day, I highly suggest you go back and check it out on my channel here. You should see something popping up on your screen here soonish to follow to that link. You don't want to miss anything. It sets up a lot for the following episodes. So let's hop right in here with Henry and we're going to go ahead and head out for day two. And we're going to go explore and see what happened to the, uh, the telephone lines here. What an emotional first episode. Again, I'm not going to say too much. Hopefully at this point you've clicked off so I don't ruin it. So three, two, one. All right, so Henry was in a relationship, was married to a gal, and uh, that gal was starting to have some issues. And um, Henry had to, to leave the relationship and is now out here in Wyoming at a fire tower taking care of it, right? Here's our fire tower. Ooh, look at that sunrise. Isn't that pretty? God, that's so pretty. Anyways, Henry's out here. And uh, on the first day of the job, he had to go take some fireworks from some girls down by the lake that were shooting him off. Uh, wasn't the greatest situation, so he went and took care of that. Am I even going the right way? Hold on, let me pull up the map. Let me zoom in here. Uh, catch 306, where's the caves? No, I am not going the right way. I need to go back up and head the other way. Ah, again, screwed this up. So sorry, folks. So 
So let's head back this way. Anyways, so on his way back to the fire tower, he has to pass through this cave. And when he comes out of the cave, there's a strange man. Strange man doesn't say anything, just shines light at Henry and then disappears into the woods. As Henry comes back to his beautiful fire tower right there, his typewriter's been thrown on the ground, uh, the place has been ransacked, the window was broken, the, let's see, is this to the bear tooth? Uh, let's just pull our map up here, zoom on in. Okay, I am now heading the correct way. I think we came up, yeah, we came up this way, right? Yeah, anyways, so Henry comes back, the place has been ransacked, his bed sheets were stolen, the sign he knocked down and has moved over since. Let's go ahead and drop down here. And it was just not a good day for Henry at all. Oops, can we report something? I thought I saw something pop up here. Yeah, I guess not. Anyways, let's go ahead and hop down one more time. So, in the comments down below, let me know what you thought of the first day, what you thought of the, the quality of the video and all that good stuff. I would really appreciate it. This is going to be a personal project for me. I've always wanted to play this game and I want to play it with you guys. So even if you guys hate this video, uh, I'm still going to be playing it. You'll just have to deal with however many episodes I turn it into. These are going to be a little bit longer episodes uh, just because it's not like our mini Metro and mini motorways and other games we've played. I just want to play the entire day, record it, and then put it out for you guys. Whew, that was a lot to say here. Uh, what I've been saying about the game so far is just look at this beautiful environment. Take it in. Look at the lights. Uh, oops, there's something popping up right here. Let's see if we can get it to... It's not... It's like right there. I can't quite get it. Some rock slide maybe? Uh, wake up. Let's see. Let's go. Can you see uh, me? Hey, I can see your tower. Suppose Even though we can't can really see, see it. Yeah, well enough. And that's all the response she's going to give us. Okay. So, let's keep running here. Here's the cave. Uh, we got some morning fog and uh, it's cold it's out. Pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder though, right? Yeah, they are. Ooh, I like what that echo. To down there? I mean, what's life like? Uh, let's talk about Oh, let's talk about the dog. Uh, you know, um, I don't know. I used to just spend a lot of time with our dog Bucket. Oh, that's a good name. He was a good dog. What type? A beagle. We got him from the pound. That's great. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just going to keep hiking and hoping it warms up. <laughs> All right, so we're through the bushes hey, um, here. I don't think so. Why have you? Okay, good. Okay, we're not going to reply. No, I don't think he has any idea. Any idea what? I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. That was hey, interesting. Sorry about that. Anyway, Bucket's a cute name. You, um, you owned him with someone? Uh, let's just talk about, we're going to ignore it. We don't want to lead on that we know what's going on. So we got to figure out if Delia's friend or foe here. Julia. Oh, like, like your wife? Or like she's taken half my stuff, wife? My wife. But you're here. She's sick. And I shouldn't be here, but I am. I, I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, that's true. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. Oh, I will. I will, Delilah. All right, uh, I can see the wire. Did I report it? I guess not. All right, let's try that again. Utility pole. I can see uh, the wire. I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Okay, another utility pole. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just <laughs> seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not come to that. All right, so bear tooth point. I wonder if we're gonna run into a bear here soon. Bear. Wow, I can't speak. So we're gonna go to the right. Oh, there's the telegraph wire. Looks like there's a cachet up there, and we're just gonna keep following it this way. Let's go ahead and put our map away. I saw some stuff over here to the right. Maybe like an old campground toilet or something. Yeah, an old outhouse. It looks like old outhouse. Yeah, let's uh, call that in. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once. I think. 
Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, <laughs> you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, oh, there's an old cabin. I'm in the right area. I in a do box. Believe, Is that box marked? Uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. All right, so we got a box out here. Let's see if the code is still one, two, three, four. Can we call this in? We can't. Um, one, two, three, and four. There we go, it is. All right, let's see if there's any goodies in here for us. Uh, we got a hat. We can call that in, veteran's hat. Found an old hat from a Korean war vet. You'd be surprised how many former service members take this gig. Hmm. Makes sense. All right, we'll hold on to it. Probably can't get enough silence. <laughs> and here's an old cabin with a weather vane on top. Anything I should know about the cabin at the top of this hill? Hello? Okay then. Ooh, it's open. Ooh! That's creepy. And she didn't respond. Delilah, what's going on, girl? You gotta tell us something. Ruined Firefinder. Uh, some old trash. Can I call any of this in? No. What is... We got downstairs. Guys, do we even want to go down... Yeah, we're going to go downstairs. Let's see what's going on down here. Old guitar. Some branches. Um, there is something going on here. Let's see if we examine this guitar. It's destroyed. We'll go ahead and put it back down for now. A burned bed. This is... This is creepy. Um, I wonder if there's some burned documents are in there. We'll check that out in a second. Um... Old propane tank here. Let's go ahead and open the stove up. Nothing in the stove. All right, so something happened here. This is not what I expected. Oh, what's that sign say? Oh, that's just the flora and fauna sign again. All right. It's an odd, uh, odd burn pattern, I guess. I don't know. A lot of wind. That's... That makes me question Delilah. If she didn't want to respond about that, something's going on, and she's hiding it from us. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below if she's hiding something from us, if she's a good person, bad person, what's going on. Now, I think on the map I saw there was some more stuff. We didn't go over there, but we can kind of head back and up and around this, it looks like. So let's go check out this area. Go ahead and lower our compass here, and let's put our jog back on. Henry getting his steps in. The wire is right there, but let's see if there's something over here we can discover. It might help us find out what's really going on with Delilah, if she is truly friend or foe. All right, let's clear this. I don't know if we're even supposed to be going this way. I see a uh, blocked trail. Overgrown trail. Overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm hmm Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. All right, so we need to go find, like, a, an axe or a shovel, because clearly there's something, there's something down there. Do you guys see that? Look at that. Like a, a chair and a table, and there's a book or something. Okay, let's, let's backtrack here, because I thought I saw some stuff on the map further back down the trail. So let's go back this way. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. This is me just exploring and having a good old time. If you don't like it, well, you can click off the video and I appreciate the view and uh, come on back to another video that suits you if Firewatch doesn't suit you. Anyway, sorry, that was me being mean. Don't need to be doing that right now. Uh, okay, let's pull our map back up here. Whoopsies. All right, um, so it should be just to kind of over this way. Can I climb up these rocks or anything? Um, oops. I keep hitting shift to run. I really wish they made shift to run in this game. I'm stuck on this rock now. How do I do this? All right, there we go. Um, maybe down here more? I still don't see a way. Is it on that side? Maybe it's down here. Let's go down here and look. Um, I don't see any trails or anything. Map, let's pull our map back up. All right, so I am pretty far down now. Um, okay, let's go, because you can see it right there. Hawk's Rest was the name of that cabin, huh? All right, so up and to the right. All right, let's go back up this way and see if we see 
see anything off to our right as we're going. Maybe we can climb these rocks. They didn't look climbable, but who knows? Let's see. <sighs> Keep getting stuck on these rocks. Darn it. Can I get up this? No. Because I think this is about right where it should be. Yeah, it's right where it should be. I wonder if we need like a rope or something. Some climbing gear. We clearly don't have any of that. Um, yeah, that's it. That's got to be it. I just don't know how to get up there. We might have to backtrack after we go and find that cachet up here earlier. Is it cachet? Catch? I don't know. <sighs> Got stuck on a rock again. Anyways, let's continue on here. So we already went and looked at the cabin over there. Let's head this way this time. And we're going to hop this log and continue on down the path following the wire. Uh, let's see if there's anything. Ah, I keep hitting that shift. Um, there is some stuff this way. Okay, let's go take a peek. Turn our flashlight off there. I don't see anything over here that worth noting. No, okay. We'll keep going this way. Yeah, now we're just kind of exploring. I, I enjoy this. One, it's a great scenery. There's, there's the box we're going for. Those utility poles are still in check. That's good. Coming into like this rocky, rocky gulch. All right, let's zoom in here. Um, okay, so we can go up and get that catch, and it looks like if we kind of follow the trail that way. Let's let's go this way first, and let's go find that. I bet you there's some climbing gear. Hopefully there's climbing gear in it. That's, that's what I want to get. Then we can go back and check out that one area that we were just looking at. Why I'm running around down in the comments below, let me know what's going on in your guys' life. I always like hearing about that. Uh, what do you do? Where are you from? What games you're playing right now? Please just, you know, interact. Let me know. I'm more than happy to respond. If you guys got questions about me, you know, leave me a question or two. Be more than happy to tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, as you can tell, I enjoy talking about myself. So ask a question and you'll probably get an answer at this point, unless it's too personal. That'd be a little, a little creepy there. All right, so this just looks like it's a little flat area. Let's go run over here. I don't see anything else other than the box here, which is in a very odd place. Let's go ahead and open this up. One, two, three, oops, and four. And let's see what we get as our prize. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and copy down that map information, update ourself, perfect. And then we got a note here. Let's go ahead and we'll phone the note in. Ron and Dave These again. Guys, Ron and Dave, they're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy, Oops. guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the flashlight? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and read this. All right, 73086. Dave, hey -o, I got your note about needing to talk and sorry I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day. Figure you'd be out near the canyon helping those grad students, but I guess not. I didn't even know how I could really help anyway. We're coworkers, you know, amigo professionals. If you need someone to throw a case back with and go time traveling, Ron's your guy. But I'm not great with the life stuff. You get it later, Ron. Hmm. Okay, we'll go ahead and hold on to that. We might need that in the future. Uh, we can pick up... Ah, ha, ha. Okay, let's go ahead and drop that board. We don't need that board anymore. Six feet down under. Uh, that's not the most assuring thing interesting book i guess we're just gonna throw it on the ground we got the pine cone and we'll go ahead and close that it interesting i uh, i don't know if that's like some foreshadowing or what all right supply drop up there another cache looks like there's some trails it doesn't say how to get up there maybe you can't get up there maybe it's just a diversion so okay let's go ahead and keep moving forward now that we updated our map and I keep hitting the shift key to run even though it's not what we're supposed to be doing. I hear something moving. Um, oh, there's the wire down. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Really? Awesome. Good find. It's like, I don't know, a mile and a half east of me. You just follow the trail up the hill, you can't miss it. I'll go see what the damage is. All right, well, let's go inspect that. So we'll go ahead and swing around here. 
I keep hearing something. Is I guess that's the wire moving in the breeze? I don't know. Through this rock slide canyon here, whatever you want to call this. Looks like we need to climb over this rock. Ah, there's a bear can. We'll have to clean that up here in a second. Uh, guess, guess what? what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Alright, let's go ahead. Ooh, a long drop. Whee! Alright, and we're down on the ground. Well, I hopped down a drop, and now I can't climb back up. Mm, that is a pickle. Even though it I looks like we could hiking, go that way. I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Hmm, how adventurous of you. Hmm. <laughs> I've been doing a lot more climbing out here than I expected. Well, keep your radio charged. I'd hate to one day find a skeleton with an orange backpack at the bottom of a ravine. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and hop up this. We'll check our map here really quick. All right, so it looks like we explored all that. So let's just keep heading this way. We'll put our map away and keep jogging. Yeah, we already called that utility pole in here on day two of Firewatch. It's just so beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? All right, some more beer cans. Ah, oh, these kids. Hopefully they didn't knock out our wires. Red Eagle, we'll pick all that up, clean that up, because I can't stand it. Uh, mm. All right, can I hop this? Uh, okay, let's go ahead and inspect. Let's see if we get shocked here. It looks cut to me. That's an awfully straight cut. Henry, you, uh, we got some stuff going on here, bud. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it the moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Mm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. All right, Delilah, go and go nuclear. Don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, they're big into Red Eagle. Follow the cans. Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. All right, and we got that nice sign there letting us know that uh, we need to go away. So let's go ahead and we'll pick up this beer can and we're just gonna follow their pile of trash back while we clean up their litter because we're a good person, you know what? And we're gonna keep Wyoming nice and clean. Uh, we're not gonna do that drop, we can just run around here because I see another beer can down here that needs to be picked up. And we'll go ahead and clean that up as well. Any down there? Nope, we'll just take the long way around. Keep making sure there's no litter. All right. Down this trail here. Ah, another beer can. Clean that up for them. Ah, we're just the maids for them, apparently. Doing all their dirty work, literally. Picking up after them. All right. Down into a little meadow here. Enjoying the scenery. Hopefully you guys are, too. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming if you've been enjoying this video or any of the other videos. Go ahead and do this long drop. Another long drop. Whee! Sploosh. All right, and I think we can report another one. I gotta tell you, all this climbing and jumping, it's pretty invigorating. Just wait for the rest of the summer when you'll be sitting on your fat ass 14 hours a day. Um, so do we want to head to the supply drop or do we want to head to the lake? Let's pull up our map here. Let's, let's go check the, let's check that supply drop out, yeah? And then we can come back and head down to the lake. It can't be that far. It says it's only 0.2, about a quarter of a mile. See if we can get ourselves any, some good gear. Let's see, supply drop, I'm guessing to the left. Yeah, and thoroughfare, fire lookout. Can I call it in? No, okay. Let's go this way here, see if we can find some good gear. 
There it is. Nice green box, different than the other boxes. And we can have ourselves a view of the forest. I don't see any fires, so we're doing our job there. Oh, I like that view. Look at that. Just very simple. Okay, let's check this out. Uh, one, two, three, and four. Open that up, and let's see what we get. All right. Um, whole lot of nada. So we can go ahead and close that. Maybe we have to come back to that at a later day. I can't tell if there's a humming is outside my apartment or if it's coming from the game. Sounds like it's coming from outside my apartment, so I don't think it's part of the game. And I'm stuck on that fence post. What am I... There we go. All right, let's go up the trail a little bit more, see if we can run into anything. It might be blocked. 4.7 miles. I bet you it's blocked. We're probably not meant to go this way because we're already losing the trail. Uh, Delilah's Tower. Can I see a clues from your... Oh, where'd it go? Do you see anything from yours, like... You know, the clues as to where they could be. <laughs> clues. Oh, we have to take a poly. I really like your enthusiasm for mystery. I'm just doing my job. I like it. I, I do. I just, I, I can't wait for you to give these girls a piece of your, our, mind, minds, <laughs> collective. But no, no clues. I, I can't see anything from here. We can pull this across. Hey, I'm out at a ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. No kidding. Well, let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's it. Hmm. No. Well, yeah, oh, why not? Oh, God, it's an emergency! Oh, really? Yeah, I got, I got, um, I got eyes on a tornado. I gotta get out of there here. There it is. See it swirling? A tornado in the heart of the Rockies? Yes! Holy moly, I need to call this in. Tom, Two Forks sees a tornado. He says he needs an evac into my sector. It's a meteorological impossibility. There haven't been tornadoes in the greater Yellowstone region in a hundred million years. You're gonna need him to stay and take a detailed personal account, even if it means giving his life. Okay, I'll tell him. Sorry, Hank. No dice. Hey, at least she's yeah. calling us by the right name. Or, no, we're not even giving called by the right name. We're Henry, not Hank. Man, she's got me convinced our name's Hank. Ugh. All right, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and hi da hike down this way, and we'll head to the lake and see if we can catch those girls in their Red Eagle cans as we clean up after them. Ugh. Anyways, what I was saying before we went on to that um, conversation, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you've been enjoying these videos. Comment. Um, check out the channel. Check out any of the videos. Really appreciate you guys. All the likes, subscribes, views, view hours, things like that. You're really making my uh, my heart sing here. We'll cross this log, and we got a backpack. It looks like hanging from this tree branch. Let's go ahead and call that in. An abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens. No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Brian Goodwin. You can always pilfer it for supplies. All right, let's go ahead and take that. See what we got. I saw some rope on the side. Oops, nice Polaroid camera there. Some climbing rope. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's nice. I mean, there's, there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? See to use yeah, disposable use camera. Neato. Thank you, Brian All right. Goodwin. Let's go ahead and hop down here. Wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Clearly she knows who that is. Uh, let's go X lever. That was he a fella you had a thing with? Mmm, yeah, it was so hot and heavy. Of course, Brian Goodwin was 12 years old, so, you know, our love could never really be understood. Ugh. I'm <laughs> kidding. Not about him being an actual 12 year old. That part's true. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Uh, let's go with Y. Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned. It's a little and, um, thin calm smoke, yeah. They were just gone. Sucks. Anyway, so it goes. So Have uh, fun with that camera. Got 18 Can't shots left. Anything that would scar a photodome employee. <laughs> 
I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. All right, let's go ahead and take a photo of that. So I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Go ahead and call that thin smoke in. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You think it's them? Only one way to find out. I so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Fossilized claw. claw uh, that in. Someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature piece by piece. <laughs> All right, and let's go ahead and read this note here. 61686, Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that. Steve, it's your man, Ron. I went up to check out the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself more than usual for LOS. Um, so I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that hammock? I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and the perverted, except us, of course. We're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot ron all right we'll go ahead and hang on to that letter as well so let's head um do we want to head so there's a climb down there to the the cave and i don't know what that other one is let's find the source of the smoke all right let's just head towards the source of the smoke and see see what we can find it is getting a little darker out nope we're not answering because that wasn't directed at us. Let's see if she says something else here soon. Sorry, I don't mean to just leap into it if you're not ready. Oh, I wonder if they're looking up um, whatever our wife's name was. What okay. was our wife's name? Maybe I'll ask you again. In oh, one. she was talking to us. Dang it. Ah, uh, okay. We could have responded to that. My bad, guys. All right, into what looks like a fresh or recently burned area. There's the column of smoke. Um... Burn tree, yep. Keep jogging along here. I'm not seeing anything on our right or left to go explore. So let's just keep heading down the trail here. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. <laughs> flapjack. Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? <laughs> it's beautiful. Tell him, Henry. All right, so let's go up here. We should be getting near that thin column of smoke here any soon, any moment soon. All right, so where are we at now? We are here. Um, okay, so, and it's directly in front of us, so we need to cross the river, and then it looks like we need to go back up towards, like, Medicine Wheel, maybe? I don't know. Let's see what happens. So we'll go ahead and hook into the rope here, and then jump on down. Man, we're 33 minutes in. Hopefully you guys are still here and watching. Like I said, I know this is going to be a long, these are going to be long episodes, and I don't have a lot to say, so there might be some quietness as we just kind of hike along here. Hopefully you're okay with that. I don't want to bore you too much. Oops, and there we go. Okay, we're down. And then uh, canyon crossover. We'll go ahead and jump. This is not safe at all, but okay. We made the jump. And we'll go ahead and go up this one here too. I like the music. Do we got someone looking at us? Because this is kind of where, and eh, no, it's more up that way. Okay, let's go ahead and climb up here. And here we go. Nice, we made that cross. No issues. All right, so where are we at on the map now? All right, so now we're on this trail. We're going to kind of come up by our tower. And then I guess we didn't go down that way to the left. We could have explored that. That's my fault. All right, let's keep heading towards the smoke. Hopefully we didn't miss anything over there. I would have really liked to have gone and seen that. Climb up here. All right, I've lost the smoke, but um, we know it's kind of this way. It's got to be at Medicine Wheel, just based off the map. Let me know in the comments down below what you think's going on. We've got a little bit of information. Some suspicions are being thrown Del Delilah's way. She's not, or she's potentially not being as truthful as we would like. 
but you, you just never know. Okay, go ahead and drop down here again. And I don't think we've been this way yet. Uh, so we need to go, I believe, right. And we'll keep going this way. I think we already opened 306. We did. All right, and we're going to keep heading this way. Thin column of smoke. There it is. All right, and we're going to keep hiking this way, down this trail towards the lake. Are we passing Medicine Wheel? Um, sort of. We might have to... We might get there. We'll find out. Okay, we can put our compass down as well. I don't see anything else that's changed since last time. Hopefully, hopefully we're not missing anything. So it looks like it's just on the down... I think this is where we fell, right? Pretty sure we fell here last time. Where our rope snapped. All right, rope hook. Let's go ahead and hook into it. Let's see if it's still... Nope, there's no broken rope. No continuity of gameplay there. There's the, the thin smoke. And we're just going to uh, rappel down, please. Come on. All right, there we go. Go ahead and rappel down across this rock shale. No snapping of the rope, please, this time. Thank you, Brian Goodwin, for having lots and lots of good rope in your backpack. Almost down. There we go. All right. Uh, can't be much further here. Where is it? There it is. We're getting closer. Um, check out our map. Let's zoom in. Um, so we probably want to... We probably want to repel here. Yeah, let's repel here. Hook in there. Throw the rope down. Good job, Henry, or Hank, or whatever your name is. Okay, repel down. Glad we're unlocking all these different parts of the map, too. So if we need to come back and explore later, we know how to do that with the rope. All right, and then let's get our jog back on and figure out what's going on here. I can't see the smoke anymore. Can you guys? Might be on just the other side of this rock face. Um, all right, let's go check out our map again. So we're we're kind of coming down towards Catch 309. Um, and there's a campground over there, it looks like. Okay, so let's keep running here. There should be a box around here. Let's kind of check over here, make sure we're not missing anything. No burned cabins, caves, things like that. Unmarked supply boxes like we saw last time. I do like I do like how the light's changing. This like orangish light as on what I'm assuming the sun's setting. All right, and we'll check this box out here. All right, one, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and open that up there and see what we got ourselves. Let's see, we got a missing person. I wonder who that could be. Uh, ooh, missing person. How many, How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so Mitch remote. Michaels. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a... PTSD a hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. All right, let's see. Uh, you really didn't like this guy. That sounds not good. Um, let's PTSD. go with that. PTSD. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and look at this letter here. All right, Mitch Michaels. I'm not going to read all this. Um, last seen around Jonesy Lake, July 3rd, 81. Missing. Vehicle info. All right, well, feel free to pause if you want to read that a little bit closer. We'll go ahead and hold on to that. We've got a picture of Teddy, and I don't see anything else in here that's going to be useful for us. So we'll go ahead and close that, and let's keep heading towards our mystery smoke. Uh, 
lush woods. For as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? Did not know that. I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Hmm. Do you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? No. Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Exactly. So we'll just follow this. I don't see much on the other side of the stream. So let's stay over here. I can't see the smoke in the, the daylight. Wait, is that it there? There's a bunch of birds over there. Let's cross the stream. Hopefully they're not like circling around something. Beautiful little waterfall over there though. Let's check out our map. Let's see what's going on down here. All right, so yeah, we'll swing around and then we'll go to that campsite it looks like. But there's a bunch of birds over there. Let's go check that out. It could be nothing, could be something. Could be something, could be nothing. And I think it's uh, a vista, okay. Hey, what's to the south of here? Um, Mexico? Is this some sort of riddle? <laughs> I just have a nice view to the south. You know, trees and mountains forever. Yeah. Well, eventually you wander into the area overseen by Chimney Rock Lookout, but that's probably an impossible hike in terms of terrain. All right, nothing else over here that's hiding from us, at least that I see. Uh, ooh, we got a coat or a tarp or something hanging in the tree. Uh, scrap of fabric. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Yeah, that doesn't make me feel good. Port really the waterfall. Nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. All right, let's go. See if we can find what's going on. So I think we kind of swung around, right? No, we're right where we need to be. All right, let's keep going this way into this campground area, it looks like. It's saving, so something's coming up. I don't see... Oh, here's the camp. I see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? That seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down. Don't let him see you. Okay, fire stamped out. Is. I have entered My the sheets. teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. I don't see anything else around. My sheets! Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like. Can I take them? I can't take them. All right, we'll go ahead and well, dangerous, hunks. dangerous hunks. What on earth are you? It's another one of those magazines. <laughs> All right, and a case of brewskis. These girls have a full case of beer left here, a full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. <laughs> All right, and then here's their tent with a lot of, a lot of. Ooh, no, it's been, been ransacked. Their tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a like a bear or um. There's a note. I don't know. It sounds crazy, but even a bull elk, if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It yeah, I do. It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. Okay, we got that, and then we'll take a shot like that. All right, let's put our camera down here, and we'll report the clothing. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. Sleeping bag. Maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. <laughs> Can I grab it? No, we can't grab it. All right, let's go ahead and call the note in. It looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah. Let me know what it says. All right, let's go ahead and read it here. All right, dear Psycho, I hope you're happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. You probably a mental ax murder and so you are going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks. You can read the rest there. All right, so let's go ahead and call that in. Oh, they're gone for sure. Well, what's it say? Uh, I think they attacked them. Um they to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god. Well, did you 
I didn't do anything to them, but it looks like someone had it out for them. Then why do they think it's you? Fuck, I don't know. Huh. Hey, I don't. I believe you. Come on, Henry. All right. All right, it's just, it's weird what happened out here. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but <laughs> they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. <laughs> yeah, me too. Okay, I don't see anything else back here. Oh, and there is day three. Okay, that was an interesting ending. So as this loads in, I will um, let Henry finish boarding up, and we'll start here next time. Go ahead and comment on down below what you think is going on here in Firewatch. That was very, very, very interesting. Uh, clearly something's going on out here. We're not going to respond to you, Delilah, right now. Uh, we're going to let them talk here. Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. <laughs> okay, we'll let that finish here. Um, let me just go ahead and pause it here, and I will finish my exit. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. Like I said, comment on down below. Let me let me know what you think's going on. I got some ideas, but uh, I want to hear what you guys think. And we'll see you in the next Firewatch video. Hey, Henry? Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Well, I get confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Women say that we have a similar musk. Uh-huh. Hey, you asked. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Uh, I don't know. I like to look nice, usually. Well, I try now, I guess. Hmm, had a bit of a schlubby period, did we? Yeah, a good 25, 30 years, yeah. But, um, now you'll put on a, a clean shirt? Yeah, well, I, I have one that I got for Christmas, actually. Just, um, it's navy with white buttons, but I, I like it. I don't wear it that much, though. Well, it sounds just perfect. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, <laughs> hmm. A uh, pretty thick beard. Oh. Have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right. Perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is, is that okay? Uh... Don't... <laughs> don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. They look tired, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know, you hit a certain age and you just... You think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. <laughs> Speak for yourself, mister. But I guess that's getting old. Well, some people might see distinguished. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Here we are in Firewatch again. Looks like we're getting ready to patch up our broken window after we just had a lovely conversation with Delilah and sounds like she's doing a little creeping on us from way over there. You can see her tower kind of in the distance there and uh, she's sketching us up. If you haven't checked out the previous two episodes of Firewatch, please do. I'm not going to spoil anything too much right now. I don't want to ruin ruin it for those who might just be joining us randomly. All right, get a couple more boards. Let's find ourselves some more boards to patch up our window. If you guys remember what happened uh, in the... Was it the end of the first episode, I think? Yeah, the end of the first episode. Uh, some people who we don't know... We've got a couple of guesses, smashed our windows and stole our sheets and did a couple other things to our beautiful fire tower here. There it is. And um, 
Then in the second episode, we went and uh, we had to go find a down telephone wire. And then what did we do? We we went to a campsite. Yeah. And that's all I'm going to say. If you haven't checked out the previous two episodes, like I said, go check them out. They're on my channel. They're fantastic. This is probably one of my favorite games I've played in a while, at least from a... Advent well, I don't even know if I want to use the adventure. From a storytelling standpoint, uh, there's it's it's pretty good. Go check out those videos, and then you should definitely check out the game yourself. So we've got ourselves two boards here. Hopefully that's enough. I don't know where else we would pick up boards. So I guess let's go back up. So here's another board. We'll take that one here. All right, now we can board up our broken window at the top of our tower. So let's head up there. Oh, there's a board right there, too, we could have grabbed. Oh, well, up the stairs we go. Go ahead and leave a comment on down below, as always, what you think's going on in the story. At this point, hopefully, if you haven't checked out the previous two episodes you've left, uh, tell me what you think's going on with Delilah, what you think's going on with the father and son that were here before, what you think's going on with our wife, anything like that, let me know. The girls from the campsite, the strange man, you know, we, we got a lot we can talk about. I think Delilah might not be as friendly as she leads on, but who knows? It, it's hard to say. She's been helpful, but just because she's helpful doesn't mean she's action. friendly. So what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task, and uh, I'll give it to you. All right, we are ready okay. to work. I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning oh well regardless take a seat the forest depends on you oh and we're jumping forward a couple days so that was day three now we're jumping into day nine and it looks like it's the evening and we're having lunch or dinner dinner down here based off the light Hello, Henry. having a nice afternoon i might never leave well uh I call up with some bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not gonna be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. In addition to the great star... Oh, day 15. We're really jumping now. Wowzers, okay. Henry, Henry, wake up. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Yeah, it's good here. It's beautiful, you know? <sighs> That's great, Henry. Really great. <sighs> well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Wait, are we imagining this? Nice? Mm-hmm, sure. Bye, baby. We've got to be imagining that. Or dream or something, because she's back in Australia, isn't she, guys? She's got to be down in Australia. That's what the, the story said when we were well earlier. 
All right, so we're heading to I think the yep Is it supply too much drop. In the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers. Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in ninety degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? <laughs> Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. All right, we gotta go up up our slack lines here so we actually explored up here earlier we so we did check out the supply two drop weeks ago you called me in the middle of the night you were sleeping i guess and all i heard was the name jules through the mumbles i just thought it was so sweet i wanted to wake you up but then i thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and i'd just be spoiling it is there anything else you want to tell me about her uh, yeah, let's be honest here. Actually, look, I wasn't honest with you about her. Well, why not? Because I messed up. She got really early Alzheimer's and I lost her. She's still alive. She's being taken care of back in Australia because that's where she's from. She's, she's there. Oh my God, Henry. And that's it. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Yeah. Listen, oh my god, I'm so sorry you've gone through that. I, I don't know if you've thought of it this way, but her family is taking care of her, and you need to take care of you. Thanks. I'll let you keep hiking. All right, so we're at our supply catch here that we already opened, and we are two forks. We could steal other food, but we're not going to be jerks. We're going to take our supplies and our supplies only. And let's go ahead and uh, right. say we got the supplies. I, I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Day 64. We're really jumping now. Wow. We went from day 3 to day 64 so far in this episode. Ooh, we got a You've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm going to call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Ooh, we get to name the fire. The big fire, the flapjack fire, or what about the lyle? We'll go flapjack fire. Uh, maybe we call it the flapjack fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. All right, let's go ahead and back inside. So creek down the hill, and um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You would like it there. <laughs> I'm sure I would. Sounds pretty great. It is. Are you looking at the fire? Uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. All right, we'll go back outside and call. Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. You know, in a real fire, watching real fires, I totally agree. You just get mesmerized by yeah. the flames. I'm glad you're here. Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? Where is she going with this? Yeah, I think so. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. And I know you're not really available, but... 
I want you to know, well, maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Um... Look, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm... I'm just having the thought. I wish I was over there. We're gonna let that one sit. Nice to be near somebody. We could talk about these radios. We could, um... You know... It'd be nice to be close to someone. Why don't we both just go watch this fire and try to imagine all the old dead things that's burning away? Day 76. We're moving right along here in Firewatch. Delilah seems to be warming up to us, but it could be an act. I think it might be an act. It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. <laughs> that reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um... You know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Yeah, we'll go look for some bears. Uh, sure. There's no that problem. campfire from me day probably. one. You are such a drama queen. <laughs> Ugh. Can't believe I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. <laughs> Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, here's the lake. I hear some ducks moving around. Ooh, we got a, a notepad here? Let's pick up this clipboard and see what it says. Mmm. What? Uh, D, I found a clipboard down here and I, uh, there's something strange going on. At the lake? What's up? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Yeah, what is going on? Towards the... Henry. Okay, let's Henry. hold on to this. Um... You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did what you? Is, here's the radio. Hard, but also, you know... I found a walkie-talkie out here, too. Uh, okay... It's going shit out. Oh my god. What ha- what? No, Henry! Henry? Are what? you there? What happened, Henry? I- Holy hell, I just- I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll uh, I'll start hiking that way. Wapiti now. Station, Wapiti Meadows. Okay, so we need to go that way. Let's go are to the you catch. Sure you saw what what you saw, Henry. Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. Why would I make this up? It's an insane lie at worst, and a shitty prank at best. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie, taking notes and talking to God knows who. What the hell do you think is going on at this place? Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes, which is unfucking believable Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. Alright, I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. There, there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also, 
I'm gonna call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seemed spooked. Ugh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. Oh my god, what is going on, guys? Leave me a comment down below what you think happened there. It's got to be the strange man. Or is it maybe the father and son? I don't know. I am completely confused. Let's go ahead and read this note that we got here in the supply box. Uh, dated 82986. Ron, got some bad news back at home, so hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say, though? Budgets being what they are. Did you get my notes about what went down in Wapiti? Ooh, that's where we're heading. Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you could have been there. I guess you must have got you must have got hung up. Dave, P.S. Amigos in Spanish and professionals in Italian. Whew, okay, I I ooh, I don't know what's going on, guys. We've we got some curveballs coming at us, I think, and I don't think the story's gonna end the way I've been thinking it might end, based off what just happened. It's um yeah, that was strange. Uh, can we not go this way? Or do we gotta go out here and swim? Let's go back to our map here really quick. All right, so we overshot. We need to go back to the trail. Got it. I thought we could work our way this way based off the map, but apparently not. So let's head up. I'm assuming this way now. There we go. Up the road we go. What are these wisps? Cottonwood maybe? I don't know. All right, let's get back on our run here. I suspect we're gonna have to go ahead and hike down this. Hopefully no one cuts the rope while we're walking down here. Man, that was, that was something. It's gotta, what, we weren't involved in anything prior to coming out here, but then again, we don't know. Henry could be an unreliable narrator. Um, what, ooh, there's a care, oh, for the trail, okay. Not that crazy. Let's keep hiking this way, well, running this way. My screen just froze up a little bit there. I thought we were about to get hit again. Uh, can we cross this? Can I make this jump? No. I wonder if we have to jump this eventually. That's seems like we might have to head that way at some point. Oop, there's a fence. There's a fence. We've got some... Whoa, Delilah, there's a big chain link fence between me and the meadow. I, I don't think I can get past it. Uh, a fence? Yeah. How big? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can Whoppity. do to get past it. All right, we got a gate. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. All right, let's, um... It's like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about U.S. That. Code 1863. Hmm, we'll have to look into that. Maybe I'll put it, I'll put it in the, um... I'll put it in the video description. All right, we hit the gate yeah. a couple times. We uh, can't get in I, there. I've given it the good college try. Uh, no dice. Oh, come on. We could get around here. Oh, shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. <laughs> hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Go Where steal an axe? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't South left, Ruby they're River. probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Unless they're the ones that hit me, but why would the firefighters hit me? All right, so there's the fence, Wapiti Station. So now we need to go down... We need to, well, that's where the fire was from. Scout camp, way out there. We got ourselves a hike, boys and girls. Okay, so let's uh, let's get to it. Uh, I might jump here, at least till something big happens. So hang tight, and I'll see you when the next big thing happens. Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Has anything strange been happening on your end? No. Nothing really. Nothing really or nothing? Nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound like nothing. It's nothing, I promise. All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. About my radio. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? 
Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground, kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not, okay? Let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. It's getting crazy out here, guys, in Firewatch. Uh, okay, so we need to go... I think I can go down, and then, yeah, we're gonna go this way. So let's put our map down here. We don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. That's the father and son. If anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian. Just how scared he would have been. I'm sure he's fine, Delilah. I mean, don't you think if this started happening to them, he or his dad would have said something? I don't know, Ned... Ned was a weird guy. No, nobody is that weird. The moment you hear someone in the bushes or get punched from the shadows, you're getting your boss on the phone. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Let's go this way really quick. Fine. I hope so. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're There's right. the fire. You're right. <sighs> this game is getting crazy. All right, where are we at on the map? I want to see. All right, so I think we're heading the right way now. We need to head down this way. We can call the fire in. Whoa, the flapjack fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not going to try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Hmm. I don't know much about firefighting. Uh, I know it's a dangerous job, and glad other people are willing to do that, because I certainly would not feel comfortable. But uh, that's... I guess just who I am. All right, let's go ahead and cross these rocks here and get to the supply catch. Can I jump or do I just... Oh. And jump. Yeah, we'll get our feet wet, that's okay. Let's see what this supply catch has. Hopefully we don't get hit in the back of the head while we're opening it. Two, oops, three and four. Go ahead and unlock that. And we'll update our map. So we know how to get back there. Looks like there's a nice easy trail. Lending library, there's a few books, some toilet paper, uh, one chance to die. I don't know what Charlotte Bronte, I know the name. Never read it though. All right, and then we'll grab the note here and then let's go ahead and read that note. Ron, really wish the powers that would that be could issue us radios that didn't suck ass. Most of the time, I'd prefer to keep things pen to paper, but every once in a while, it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. I've been sitting at the spot for a while now thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter of the way through a bottle of flies instead. Miss you, Dave. Oh, that's sweet. All right, we're going to go ahead and hold on to that letter as well, and we'll close our supply catch and into a another freshly burned area, it looks like. Uh, five fires knows how to pass the controlled burn. Uh, report that. The controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. <laughs> well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. All right, recent burn. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Hmm. Oh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. All right, let's go ahead and call them the There's snowmobile. Some snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Uh, there's a pond. pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Hmm. <laughs> uh, 
uh, because it's called Pork Pond. It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den or, you know, anywhere. All right, let's call this in. Camp Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Or is that right with me? Beware weebelos in large numbers. <laughs> Beware of anyone in large numbers. All right, and the broken the bridge. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm going to walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Okay, we'll go this way. Do we got anyone lurking around us trying to get to us? I don't see anyone. Let's go over here. Um... Yeah, we'll just keep going here. Well, we could probably cross here. This looks crossable. It wouldn't be fun, but you could cross that. Maybe not, okay. Guess the game doesn't want us to do that. Oh, there we go. I bet you we gotta jump to that tree. Again, we could. I think you could cross that. Not fun, but crossable. All right, up we go here. No, we gotta go around the tree, around the tree. Little uh, cave or something there. It's not letting me get any closer, so I guess that's not it. Uh, okay, let's go back this way then? I mean, where does it want me to cross? I was thinking right here, but still nothing, okay. Some high ground, maybe over here? Through the bush. More bushes. Nope, still can't cross there. What about over here on this rock? Can I jump from here, maybe? There we go, long drop down. All right, we're gonna take that drop. I think this is not a good idea, but we're doing it. All right, and we're on to the camp. Um, nice totem pole right there. Let's go, can we call it in? Nope, okay, no dialogue associated with that. There's the bridge. What was there a, can't cross here, yeah, we don't. Um, all right, let's go this way. Here comes some shelters, it looks like. Have you ever talked to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make Bear conversation trap. with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. What type of nerdy hobbies are we talking about with him? Like, a marching band? Oh, no, 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 no. Like comics, model rockets, wizards and wyverns, you know. Ugh. Hey, thanks to Brian, I can almost recall by memory the armor classes of most dragons. <laughs> the what? No, you can't. Hey, planar dragons armor class. Let's see. Okay, no, I believe you. We're good. We're good. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and call the old uh, shelter in, and then we'll call the bear trap in. The For the past 35 years, yeah. All right, and then the there bear trap. Are bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Ooh, missing person. Scouts are stalwart prey. <laughs> That's messed up. All right, let's take this and oh, we already read this one from earlier. We'll go ahead and hold on to it again here, and let's continue down deeper into the camp. I see a fire axe. Firefighters are gone. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Uh, we're gonna take that axe, of course. Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the backcountry and getting through that fence. Yeah, of course. All right, and we got a clipboard and it looks like some toilet paper and a trowel. Uh, let's report, oops, report that I trowel there. Trowel. Maybe I should take it with me. Could use it to pop open beers. <laughs> wow, um, 99% sure that's for burying poop. And I'm holding it. Maybe drop it? <laughs> Alright, if you guys have ever been backpacking, yeah, that's exactly what you do. Wasn't there a clipboard? Here we go. Report the memo here. I left something behind. It's like a memo from their boss. Hmm. Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. <laughs> Mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? 
Uh, us. Uh, they're researching us. You... you think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do? Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that! Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Yeah, I know. I'm going to keep a close eye. All right, let's go ahead and read this officially. Squad Boss Grant Carson, 71089, Wyoming Interagency Hotshot Crew, Paint Rock Rangers District, 1220 North 8th Street, Grey Bull, Wyoming, 82426. Regarding Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station, Thoroughfare Region, Square Boss Carson. In the next few days, you and your team will be dropping into the Thoroughfare Region of Shoshone National Forest to cut a fire line south of Ruby Ridge. I am writing to you on behalf of Dr. Ben Simmons at Wapiti Station. He reached out to the superintendent with wildfire concerns concerns about his research site. Upon your return, someone uh, from his office will want to speak with you as part of a wildlife risk assessment of the region. I told them that they have nothing to worry about and that your team fire lines are the most potent preventative measures in protecting their site, even though they'll be more than a mile away. But I think they've got insurance companies to answer to that. Thanks, uh, as always, for your service. Rich uh, Solescaro, Sol something, uh, superintendent. So, of course, we're going to hold on to this letter as well. And I think we're going to chop this tree down. Henry, choppy choppy. And there it falls down. And now we can cross over the ravine. So I was right. We were going to cross here at some point. Just not uh, not at the right time. Okay. Hey there. I, I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <laughs> what was that? Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? Oh, fuck. Oh. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Get what? in your tower. Shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call oh. you. Oh. Day 77. Oh my god, guys. What is going on? I'm getting goosebumps over here. Whoa. Oh my. Okay. Um, wowzers. Fair Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. The Flapjack Fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? All right, I think we're going to go ahead and end it there. We'll end it on a high suspense point. Something is going on out here in the Thoroughfare region in Firewatch. Thank you so much for coming out and watching this Tooth and Scrub video, and we'll see you in the next one. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Uh, you can do me for a trip out of here. I don't care if it's on horseback or a helicopter or in a canoe. Just get me out of here. Henry, we have work left to do. Let's chat about what's bothering you and you'll feel better. Are you serious? Let's talk, okay? Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. You know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Sure. It's the, uh... No. 
You don't need to tell me, just, um, internalize it. it it's a great tree, and there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell you. Radio me the moment you get there. Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. And we are here in Firewatch, starting the new day. If you haven't checked out any of the previous episodes, go ahead and click out of this video right now, as much as it pains me to tell you that, and go back and check those out. This is a very story-driven game. Uh, probably one of the most story-driven games I've ever played. So all the stuff you're about to see here coming up uh, won't make sense. So Delilah there on the radio wants us to go to the Cottonwood uh, Glade or something like that, I would imagine. Let's get our map up here. And so we're in two forks. So we're going down to the Cottonwood Creek. So we need to kind of head back to where we were yesterday and take a right instead of a left. So let's hop through the door here. We'll grab our backpack and we're heading out back towards the Flapjack Fire. That last episode, that was a that was a bit of a doozy of an episode. There was quite a lot that happened. Uh, again, if you haven't watched, I'm going to give you three seconds to click off before I start talking. So three, two one hopefully you're off by now so we got knocked out by a, a mysterious figure right and uh, we went to that campsite got the axe and then that was kind of the end of the episode because if you remember correctly our radio started making some weird noises we heard that coughing and that's that's kind of where we ended uh, okay so i need to kind of go down this way a little bit more um we have no clue what's going on. We have no clue if Delilah's friend or foe, or really who's looking out for us at this point in the game, other than hopefully ourselves, Henry here, or Hank, depending on who you talk to. Uh, we, who knows what's going out here in the, the deep woods of, I think we're in Wyoming. I'm pretty sure we're in Wyoming. Let's actually follow the trail this time and make sure we go go the correct way that we're supposed to be going here. I think this is the the right way here yeah we're heading the right rightish way now <sighs> anyways as we get digging in here into the episode let me know in the comments on down below what you think is happening what you think is going to happen who's who's the mysterious person that knocked this out who is delilah friend or foe is henry a good guy is henry telling us everything we need to know we are not quite sure henry could easily be a uh an unreliable narrator to to put it kindly all right, so we're down here by the creek now, um, and I think we need, we need to cross. Yeah, we still need to cross first, then go right. So let's go this way, and we're going to go ahead and jump across the rocks, keep our feet nice and dry. Don't want to give Henry any wet boots now. Jump to this next rock here. Almost missed it. All right, there we go. We are across the creek, and I think we got to go up a little bit, and then we'll turn right. So if you remember from the last episode, this is where the fire team, the... Uh, the hot shots came in and kind of did a pre-burn just to hopefully prevent the flapjack fire from making it all the way to our tower. So we've taken a right here. Let's just check our map again. Heading down towards Cottonwood Creek. Yep, we are going the right way. Fantastic. Get back into a little run here. Uh, it's already kind of dark out, isn't it? Like, what, two or three hours left of sunlight maybe? I don't know. All right, we got a big cottonwood tree right there. So is Delilah luring us into a trap? Does she have something else in mind? Are we going to meet her? I don't know. Let's see what happens here. Here's the big cottonwood tree, a little butterfly over there. Um, map updated. Can I call it in or anything? No. All right. right, let's. We got a ski here. Um, just a random ski sitting there. So I'd imagine someone was doing a little cross-country skiing or something like that and left that behind. All right, let's keep going this way. Very beautiful game. I think I said that a lot in the first episode, just the, the lights and the colors, and hopefully you guys are getting that in the recording because this is probably one of the most beautiful games I've ever played. All right, so there was a box around here. Where's the box at? So it's just across this little area. So we are at Cottonwood, and let's go ahead and call uh, it in. Here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? We uh, do. It must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's five six seven eight. Five six seven eight. I was
was in a rush. Six. Seven. I hear some movement somewhere. All right, so we unlock that box. And we'll copy our map information as always. Get that nice and updated. Perfect. And then there is a, oh, a new radio. Three blind rats. And looks like some cans here. All right, let's pick up the new radio. So we can probably call Delilah without hopefully anyone uh, interfering with us here. I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. <laughs> I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Knock on wood. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. What the fuck is going on? People are listening to us? I don't know. Our radios are tapped? Are you fucking serious? Our radios are definitely tapped. That's why I left you the one you just got. How, how, how is this even possible? I don't know, Henry. What do you know? I know that I'm scared. <laughs> are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? <sighs> this is just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. <laughs> Our fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. So no, this isn't happening to anyone else, and I'm done asking. Uh, let's go. Who's doing None of it makes any sense. Who is doing this? I don't know who could be doing this. <sighs> Henry, I've been at this job off and on for 13 years. Sometimes here, sometimes over near Jackson, a couple times down in Wind River. And nothing like this has ever happened before. Am I just making all of this up? I mean, the eavesdropping, the spying, is this... Fuck, are you... Are you is any of this real? <laughs> what? Are you serious? Maybe I'm, I'm just, maybe I'm just losing my mind. What? Like Julia. And maybe it's happening to me, and, and I'm imagining that I have a boss out here and that we're being spied on. Henry. Maybe there was something in the water, or our condo was underneath some power lines, and, and you, Delilah, you're not real. Henry. Henry, think about her. If what happened to her were happening to you, you wouldn't even be able to realize it. Okay. Henry, sweetie, I am real and this is happening. I'm as real as the sky is blue. Take a second and then call me back. I'm on your side. Wow, that, uh... I mean, he's not wrong. He could be gaslighting himself. Someone else could be gaslighting him. Like, that's uh, it's a serious thing. Let's just take a second here and look around the, the area. I don't think there's anything to find. I wish we could find what's making that noise. I wonder if it's the fire. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and call Goli Delilah back here. Okay, I'm all right. I'm, uh, I'm headed towards the site. Good. Keep your head up. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start hiking back towards the Wampa... Wapatami? What was it? Let's see here. Uh, Wapati Station. So, since it is quite a bit of a hike... Oh, I guess I could have hiked through. I'm going the wrong way. Let's go this way. We'll explore this new part over here, but once we kind of get back to that original section that we've already explored, I'll go ahead and make a, a quick jump uh, till we hit the next action. That way you guys don't have to see me hiking. I wish that I would have... Uh, excuse me. I wish I would have just gone this way to start. I guess I should have paid more attention when I copied that information out of the map there but while we're heading this way don't forget to comment on down below on anything you want to do who you are where you're from what's going on in your life do you like my videos what don't you like about my videos anything like that i would appreciate any and all feedback it just helps me grow and become the best content creator that i can become for you guys now i understand that these uh these Firewatch videos can be a little bit long, and this isn't a game for everyone, so the, the statistics on this game, for me, at least channel-wise, haven't been as, as good as I would have liked them to have been, but this is more of a passion project, so I am okay with that. Hey, right. uh, I just thought of something not, um, not great. What is it? 
filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. What? Why would you do that? I told you to say the minimum and just keep it vague. I know. And I didn't. I, I, I just didn't want to be hassled. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Fuck, Delilah. Fuck, indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. Yeah, that's, uh... That's not good for anyone there. Should have... Should have filed that report properly. Um, okay, so I need to hang... I need to hang a little bit of a left and go back... Uh, I think this way? Is this the way I want to go? I think it is. Uh, can we squeeze through here? Block trail. Clear this trail here. Oh, there we go. We got our axe. There we go, Henry. Clean that trail up, my man. I forgot what the axe was called. They called it something specific uh, earlier. Oh, that's right. We dropped down here. All right. Let's go to our map here again. Oops. And pull this back up. Uh, okay. So I am heading in the wrong direction because we can't we can't go this way. We don't want to go this way. All right. Let's head back this way. And uh, Jonesy Lake. So we probably want to keep heading this way past the, the box here. So maybe it's this trail over here. All right, let's head this way for a few seconds and see if this is the correct way now to the Wapati station. All right, if it is, I will make a jump here. All right, so we are kind of on our way back. So I will uh, jump cut here and I will see you. What was that? Uh, I just heard something. What? What is it? I, I don't know. It was goddamn terrifying though. Well, it could be an elk, or Sound like an elk. it could be someone trying to get you to radio about a loud noise so they know where you are. <sighs> what? Oh, come on, Delia. You can't be saying stuff like that. How about you don't do that again? Oh, man. But talk about perfect timing there. Like, right as I was getting ready to jump, we heard that noise. Actually, I, I'm, I'm shaking over here, and I'm just sitting in my apartment with the lights on, and I'm scared. I don't know about you guys. Um, this tree looks kind of beat up like an elk or something was scratching it a bear. Maybe yeah, that tree is awfully clawed up um, Okay, let's for Hank or Henry's sake. Hopefully he's Golly, I'm I'm shaking in my boots here guys uh, Okay, let's um, let's go down our rope here I'll get to the bottom of the rope here, and then if we need to make another jump, I'll make another jump here Let's go ahead and repel Okay, I probably should have looked to make sure there was nothing crazy at the bottom of the hill, but here we go. Whew, okay. Nervous system calming down a little bit here. All right, we're at the bottom of, what the? Oh, that was my backpack. Whew, I thought that was someone for a second. All right, so I will jump and unless there's something else that happens here as I, no? Okay, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, there's a raccoon here. I thought I'd jump back in. I really didn't make it much farther than I did on that last time. So let's uh, let's report this raccoon in. Um, there's a critter out here. A raccoon. I can't understand you. Because I'm whispering. Because you're whispering. <laughs> All right, well, let's, uh, let's go say hi to this raccoon. Hopefully we don't get rabies or anything. He, what's he trying to open? Hi there, little fella. Where you going, friend? Come back. I just want to say hi. Where'd he go? Oh, poor little dude. Scared him off. Is he over here more? Eh, okay. Well, we saw a raccoon. I guess that's cool. I don't know. Um, anyways, on we go here. I will see you guys at the next uh, big thing that we need to see. All right, we're back here. We're coming up on the gate. We got our fire axe. We got a brand new radio. Let's uh, let's break on in here. Something's making a lot of noise. I like the music. What's this? Loose stone. Um, I don't know why there's some loose stones here. Can I throw them at anything? 
Yeah, well, I guess we can't throw very well. All right, so let's go ahead and call let's in. Down. There's nobody around, and it's the quickest way in. Copy that. All right, open sesame here. Break that lock. I smashed open the gate. Should I try to fix or hide this? No, screw it. Okay then. Yeah, we're going in full force. All right, so let's see. Uh, let's open the lid here. We got ourselves a bee. Am I gonna get stung by a bee? Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's pick this up, and we're gonna go ahead and read that. Potty station personnel. If you're trying to reach Dr. Simmons, he is on site from August 15th through October 15th. University owned equipment is the responsibility of Dr. Johnson. Government owned equipment is under the purview of Cat uh, Ferdinand. Remember, this is a controlled area and any issues, malfunctions, or violations should be reported immediately. So let's go ahead and close that here and we will hang on to that and then we're going to call in, oh, we missed calling in our bee sting. Um, darn. Okay, so let's head on this way. A little little bridge here we got across. We got to jump here. All right, let's go ahead and jump. Bada bing, bada boom. It is getting dark. We should have started this adventure much earlier in the day, but what do I know? We'll get our flashlight on. This music is very ominous, to say the least. If you guys haven't got your comments in down below, let me know what you think is going to happen here as we kind of slowly make our way into Wapati Station. God, I can feel all the hairs on the back of my neck standing up. I don't know about you guys. I am I am freaking out right now as much as you can be while playing a video game. I know this isn't a horror game or anything, but man, talk about the suspense. All right, we're working our way deeper in. I see I like some glowing lights over here. What is all this? I wonder if that's that, like spider webs? We got a tower with a little generator. Um, let's go ahead and call that in. Okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. D, there is some serious comms equipment out here, wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20-foot tall transmission tower. I mean, they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. All right, so can we can we do anything here? Can we open the panel? No, we can't. Okay, uh, we already called that in. Let's continue on here. God, look at like a, I'm assuming that's just spider webs on the ground, but that's ah, uh, getting the chills here, guys. Okay, is there anything over here? No. Okay, let's head back this way here. All right, and then. More fence, more communication equipment, it looks like. God, I can, oop, there's a tent. We got like some growing lanes or something where they grow pot out here. Is there someone in there? Or are they digging something up? This looks like, this looks like an archeology span grid. Oh, they're doing something with the soil out here too. It's all gridded off. Uh, who knows what else they're up to. Okay, another monitoring tower, we can't do anything with this. It's beeping and booping at us. And there's all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? Dishes and stuff on metal legs. There are wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really up on high tech. And mind you, I think this is like late 80s. This equipment is not stuff from the hardware store. Did I call anything else in? No. Okay, let's let's go take a peek at the tent here. Let's start on the outside and work our way in. Can I open this crate? No. Good music though. They're really building the suspense here. All right, what do we got out here? Just some empty boxes. Can we open any of these? Nope, I don't see any markings on them. There's a ladder. Can't do anything with that. Lots of food. Is there someone in the sleeping bag? Um, okay. I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's definitely some sort of monitoring station. Yeah, no crap. Uh, leather belt looks heavy. Lantern. Let's go ahead and open this up. A wave receiver. Using your Anderson Wavefinder wave receiver with compass. Locates any strong signals. Green light. Target straight ahead. Distance light. And then tone. Sources. Let's go ahead and call this in. I think I found the thing they used to track us. Holy shit. You know, you swear, like, a lot. Not the time, Hank. Anyway, it's called a wave receiver. Looks like it picks up anything that emits a signal. It's got basic orienteering capabilities, everything. Holy... Holy shit, Henry. <laughs> yeah, holy shit. 
You're gonna take it, right? Yeah, of course. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and pick up our wave receiver here. Guessing we're gonna track down the people that have been tracking us. Why is our vision getting a little fuzzy? Use end to wave receiver. Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. Alright, let's explore the rest of the tent. We're gonna go ahead and lower that for a second. Uh, we're gonna pick up... Can we eat some of their peanut butter? No, we can't. Biff! The best type of peanut butter there is. Uh, pasta sauce. Let's go ahead and call the food in. I wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. Figure out what that thing does and then get the hell out. Call the cot in. Why can't I call the cot in? Like it lets me do it, but not really. All right, cots. This place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. I want to know what that thing finds. Oh, this stuff over here. No, we got to look at everything. We're probably going to get punched in the back of the head again. Rags, little stove. I found their main monitoring desk. You should get out before they come back. No, earthquake monitor. Interesting. There's a box here with a dial. It has a needle, like it measures earthquakes. Where are they tracking? Like a lie detector. Yeah, I'm not sticking around to get hooked up to it. <laughs> um, we already called that in. Let's call on the bulletin board. Shit. Got a map here that confirms they're tracking my, our, people's movements. The map's got all sorts of paths and areas marked off on it. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Are you positive it's you? I'm not sure, but I think so. Okay, let's pick up this clipboard here. Let's examine this first. All right, subject, beacon, frequency, sex, social role, uh, departure from Two Forks area, point at behaviors, consult previous data. Desire for copulation, conflict of other males. Okay, disproportionate food intake, wow. Um, that's not very nice. Okay, so there's a log here that tracks the movement of four distinct subjects. You and me? Uh, yeah, definitely me. And I suppose you too. What about the other two? Uh, let's go with the Maybe guy. the Goodwins? What if they were following them last summer? God, Henry, I don't know. If they were, there's no way Brian knew. He would have said something. Yeah, I can't imagine a kid like that could have kept this under his hat. We'll talk this over and figure out how to get the hell out of here. Yeah, no crap. All right, let's go ahead and take that. Um, barometer? They're measuring the barometric pressure, too. Why? Maybe it's just a diversion. Uh, do we got any more equipment? I mean, this stuff looks like it just got lifted out of the space shuttle. I have to tell you, if I found out this was NASA, I'd be a hell of a lot happier. All right, so we called that in. Let's get our... Oh, um... Yeah, I, I think this thing is responding to something in this pile of crap on the desk. Dig through it. Okay, here it comes. Black box. Subject Henry... Whoa! That's our names on there. Delilah43. Henry M. What is going on? We were highly manipulative. Are you kidding me? What? What is it? There's a folder of reports here. What do they say? Their assessments about the two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus! Henry, do you hear me? You have a boyfriend, Javier? What the fuck? Wish you hadn't left that out. <laughs> I don't. I, I didn't. This is insane. I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. Uh, yeah. Got it. yeah. Fuck them. Hell yeah, we're burning this place. There's ocean of water on it, and these assholes will spend the rest of the summer picking up the pieces. We get to finish out our contracts. <laughs> Hell, we'll even call in the fire. Yeah, okay. You don't sound too excited about that. I'm not. Look, worst case scenario... A firefighter dies trying to put out what we started, and we live with that on our conscience for the rest of our lives. 
fuck. Yeah. Worst case. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Ah, uh, so fucking wound up! Look, it's alright. I'm just gonna hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. Okay, let's take these reports here. I want to read our report a little closer. Henry M, 39 male. Uh, looks like we've been observed for about 10 weeks now. We are a comprehensive explorer, keeps to the path, prone to anger, but passive. Guilty, forthright, and guarded. Uh, engaged, supervisor, trust yet to be scientifically proven. All signs point towards full cooperation. Subject may be aware of tests. Ooh. Suggests we disengage if subject decides to leave his post. We are a nine on the manipulation susceptibility scale. Okay, we're going to close that and we're going to hang on to that. Let's grab Delilah here and we'll read hers. Delilah, 43, reliable, considering alcoholism, observant, charismatic, selfish, skewed perception of personal history, never married, no kid, rarely hikes or leaves immediate surroundings, multi lovers despite longtime partner named Javier. Low on the manipulation scale. So let's go ahead and hang on to that as well. And, um, okay, let's, let's get out of here. Yeah. Uh, we're probably going to get hit as we run out of the tent. I don't, I don't see anything. We'll cross the soil grid here, get ourselves a nice little jog. I think we kept that black box. I don't, I don't know. We're gonna, let's, let's just get out of here. Shall we? Wow. Okay. Comment on down below guys. What's going on? Henry, Delilah, EG, we got, we got something going on here that's not good. I, I don't care who you are or what you say, but the, I'm getting the, the heebie-jeebies on this whole thing. <laughs> I still got the hair standing up on my legs, and it's like 75 outside my apartment, so I'm certainly not cold. All right, let's, um, let's cross this little stone here. Hopefully nothing grabs us as we jump. Oh, Henry, 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 get across. Um, oh, my God. Well, we broke the bridge. They're going to know we were here. Ignoring the fact that, oh, wait, what? No, we didn't light that fire. Did they? Uh, Henry? What? I think there is smoke coming from north of Jonesy Lake. That is suspiciously close to where you just were. Yeah. Do you see it? Uh. Jesus, okay, yeah, I see it. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? Uh, call it in. Just call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. Ooh. I, uh... Okay. Wow. Uh, so that was day 76. Um, what's that say? Who is listening to us? Okay. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to call that an episode. Day 76. We found out quite a bit, guys. I I don't know what's going on. Comment on down below. Let me... I think this is going to be... The, not this episode, but the next episode is going to be the last episode. So we got some big stuff coming up here on Tooth and Scrubs Gaming in Firewatch. Thank you so much for coming out and watching the video. I appreciate it. Appreciate you guys, all your likes, your views, your watch time, everything. Always leave a comment, like the video, subscribe to the channel so you get all this great content on time in an orderly fashion, and I'll see you in the next Firewatch video. Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming, and we are hopping back into Firewatch. I am pretty sure this is going to be the last episode. If you haven't checked out any of the previous episodes, I highly recommend you click out of this video. Go check them out on my channel. We have had quite the suspenseful journey here with Henry, and I don't want you to have the whole entire game ruined, because it has been... I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I haven't the faintest idea, but we're about to find out. Let's go ahead and call in the wave receiver this beeping. Receiver just pick something up. It's like a signal. It's going beep, beep. Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You've got to find out. All right, I'm on my way now. I don't like you know that. What I just picked up? Uh, Bottle no. of whiskey. A fifth of Major Bueno tequila from the creek. <laughs> Are you drunk? No. I am getting drunk. 
Yeah. Hey, D, I don't want to harsh your vibe, but maybe, just maybe, that's a bad idea. Henry, Henry, Henry. What? You're harsh in my vibe. My thinking is I could stay up all night worried I'm going to lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is I'm going to follow this wave receiver. <sighs> I like it when you think. Ay ay ay. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. Uh, okay, radio off. So we got some site reports. We got our toolbox over here. Report on Henry, the report on Delilah. If you guys, again, didn't check out that last episode for day 76, go back and check that out. Um, we're going to pick up our wedding ring and we're going to put that back on. Uh, of course we are. Let's put that back on there and we're going to pick this up. Um, I guess we can't carry it with us. We'll put that back down. All right, anything we need in our tower before we take off? Uh, I don't think we need any of it. Got plenty of food stuffs. Our bedding is back. Perfect. All right, and let's grab our pack and head out the door. Okay, there's the flapjack fire over there. And then over this way, can we see it? Uh, no, but it is getting awfully smoky around here. Let's hop on down here. I don't think we can see... There's Delilah's tower. We can't see the other fire. <sighs> okay. Down here. Let's get out our... So let's head... Let's head this way? No. Where is the right direction? I think we need to... Yeah, we're going to head this way. There we go. We're heading in the right direction. I think. I think we need to go around these rocks here. It's kind of that way, yeah? Let's check our map here. Ooh, it's a little dark. We got our flashlight. There we go. Um, so maybe the medicine wheel area? I don't, I don't know. Let's head towards like medicine wheel and see what happens there. Let's pull this guy back up. Get our jog back on. As we head this way, Leave me a comment on down below what you guys think's happening. It's getting crazy here in Firewatch. I still got some uh, here's hairs standing up. I, Not that you guys care, but uh, film, we'll be filming both episodes in a row. So for me, this is, this is pretty crazy right now. Um, do I need to go back this way? Let's go back this way. This, yeah. All right, we're going to head around here. Oh, it's really going off now. Okay, let's clear these bushes. Why are we... All right, let's try this again. There we go. Let's clear through here. Oh, wait, what? Is that a backpack? That's another backpack there. Oh, we're going to get sucker punched or something. It's it's certainly going off. We're, we're at it. Um, what's that say? Something, something, storage. Okay. That's the cave key. With, uh... What? Smash that alarm box. Oh, they wanted us to do that. Oh, those tricky people. Oh. Wow. So they know we took the backpack. We're gonna get the key here. They want us to go in there. Someone wants us to go in the cave. That key's been missing for two... What'd she say? Like two years? The, I, I found some sort of supply bag. Light camping gear, some clothes, and basics, but it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. But there's there's also a set of keys here. And I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah. yeah it is. That key's been missing for a while. Who the hell took him? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire has them spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Yeah, not great. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. No, I am not back in my tower. In my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you. Nope. It they lured me down here to get all that stuff. To 
the cave or to my tower? Get back to the lookout. Ugh. This game. What is going on? All right, let's... We were running. Okay, come on, Henry. I need you to run a lot faster here. Whew. Okay, I am getting a little spooked here. All right, back up the path. Something's making noise. We haven't heard that elk or anything recently. God, I feel like I'm about to get jumped. Is that a person behind that box? No. Okay. Um, ooh, that safe symbol just went off. Okay, let's... Oh, God, that owl. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, we're, we're getting closer. Getting closer. Hop over that. Where's my tower? Uh, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? There's the base of the tower. Do you see anyone up there? I don't see anyone up there. I don't see anyone running away either. Um, all right, let's go to the stairs here. Two forks lookout. Is that person? Hey, is that person still up there? No, he's gone. All right, I'm close. I just didn't want to run into him. Yeah, look, be careful. Let's I'll, see I'll what he head. took. He take everything. He probably he probably took the transceiver or whatever that black box was. There's the fire. Okay, no one in here. Uh, empty lookout. I don't see anyone up here. She was just there. Ooh. Left a cassette player taped to my damn door. Uh, I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> well, let's see what's on it. He's not wrong. Let's play it. See what message they have for us. For Henry. Oh my god, they already have us. Oh, they edited it. It's a tape of us talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and... It sounds like we were the ones who burned it down, and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No! Dee, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening, Henry? Day 78, okay, moving right along. Wow. I... Oof. I don't know what's going on. We're running out of batteries on that thing. What's wrong? Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Hmm. <laughs> um... So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. Yeah, we don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. We just, we have to stick together, okay? Keep our story straight, from the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we gotta be honest and consistent. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I know. Okay, let's uh, let's make our way down to the cave. It's getting a lot smokier out here. That flapjack fire is getting pretty big. Can we see the other fire out by the Wapiti station? No, we can't. All right, hop down our stairs here. Whoa. Okay. This has got to be the end. Let's go find the cave. Um. So we are here. I need to go. Kind of this way we got to hop down that one thing jonesy lake no i want to go it's on the other side of the outhouse you would think for as much as we've been playing this game i would kind of know where we're going at this point in time but apparently not um all right there's the outhouse there's our generator so let's go past this and we're going to go down this way the way we came up where we originally saw that one man on the first episode the first night well not the first night out here but the first night 
in the tower. So let's go ahead and start hopping down these rocks here. Get to this cave here sooner rather than later. Uh, hop down here. Oh, long fall. Glad Henry's 38-year-old knees can take that because my almost 30-year-old knees probably couldn't at this point. All right, we're just going to run down this trail here. Because uh, I think the man was like right here, right? Yeah, I think he was right here. We were still way down in the canyon when we saw him. You... You didn't actually make that call, right? To, to the other lookout. It just stuck in my jaw. I, I let myself no, we didn't. how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. Of course I didn't. No way. They're just... They're trying to pit us against each other. Yeah... Yeah, you're right. Okay. That's not gonna happen, though. Here's the cave. Let's get our flashlight on here. Okay, we'll call it in that we're here, and then we'll keep moving. Oh, no, we don't even get to call it in. Let's unlock the gate. Oh, okay. Let's see what happens. Here we go. End of, end of Firewatch, I think. We're just gonna work our way down this... What? No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Did that just close on us? Someone just closed the gate. And... Oh, man. Delilah, someone locked me in the cave. Is this thing working? She Delilah, probably... send someone to the cave, please! Can't get any damn reception. Jesus. Wow, okay. Um, they really want us in here. So let's, um, let's see what's going on. Long, Jesus, steep drop. This is a big cave. No, we're not going that way. Um, okay, let's see if we can create a path this way. Shafts of light. Uh, so there's some outside. Oh, we could knock those rocks down. Let's squeeze through here. We're not going to go down that long drop just quite yet if we don't have to. I would prefer for us to keep Henry in one piece. Alright, oh, the Pulaski, that was the name of the axe. Another little rock bridge we got to jump. Ooh, that's that's a long fall there. Definitely don't want that. Okay, and that didn't crack like the last time. Here. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, we could climb out of that. Yeah, you could climb out of that. That's not terrible. It'd suck, but you could do it. Okay, let's hop up here. There's our wedding ring. Glad we put that on. Another... Nope, not going that way. Okay, let's keep going this way. Whew, what do you guys think is going to happen? Comment on down below, because I have no idea why these people are following us. We're just out here trying to mind our own business. I'm assuming it's governmental. It's got to be. I mean, I kept mentioning federal. Okay, we got some trees down here, so there must be some sort of shaft of light. There it is. Oh, man. I feel like something's about to happen. Oh, we're coming out into the fire. Um, long drop down. Where are we at? Let me pop up our map here. Okay, so we're kind of near some water. Hawk's Rest. That was that burnt cabin. Okay, so I bet you we're going to come down. If you guys remember from that second episode where that area I was trying to get up into, I bet you you will uh, remember where we were at. Are you there? Because that's the phone wire. Nothing yet because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus. So you, so you didn't find anything? No. no the, there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm going to hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Ooh, what is this? That sound dangerous. Is this Brian's hideout? Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. It was. Really? Yeah, he built himself a real castle. A bunch of rocks stacked up. He made a wall and a perimeter. <sighs> <laughs> you know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Uh, whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Science over. Uh, sorry. Yeah, 
Drone schematic. Okay, we gotta explore all this. Let's start with this banner here. He's in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. Put that back. Old can of paint. Let's pick up the handmade sign. Uh, we got quite a bit of stuff here. So let's go and put that sign down very gently, apparently. Wizards and wyverns. Uh, let's go ahead and call that in. There's some grade A dork contraband here. You found his pocket protector? I found a, uh, I guess, a data sheet for one Gladius Silva, half elf armor seven. Classic wizards and wyverns. It's a little weird that he just leaves so much of his stuff out here. Yeah. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... Uh, I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in two forks. I lied. And just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was going to bring him back to. <laughs> Not that it ended up mattering. Alright, let's take a quick read of this. Uh, he had a good... Unintelligible nerd stuff. Okay, that's not very nice, but we'll go ahead and hold on to this. We've got a note to Rangers. Uh, Brian stole his dad's climbing gear, his anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. I think he was going to hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. I mean, he left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing? Yeah. I mean, it sounds like Ned was pushing him and... Pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. Hmm. I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. All right, let's read this note here. Dear Ranger, my name is Brian Goodwood. If you have found this note, it could be with a bunch of climbing anchors, I hope. Could you do me a favor and please return them to me, Brian Goodwin, in the mail? My address is 55 Foxtrot Lane, North Platte, Nebraska, 69101. If you tell me your name and address, I will give you a reward for this. You are probably wondering why I left these here. Well, they are my dad's and I don't want him to lose them, but I don't want to do any more climbing on this trip, so I thought I should pretend to lose them. But if you help me get them back, everyone will be happy. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Ranger Brian. P.S. The reward will be good. All right, so we, oops, let's hang on to that. We're going to go ahead and take those climbing anchors. Thank you, Brian. They look a little rusty, but they'll, they'll serve us well. All right, and then let's go ahead and take the ham radio diagram. We'll call There's that in. A ham radio schematic here, something Brian was working on. Yeah, uh, I think that was the one thing Ned did do with him, you know, tinkering on stuff like that. All right, and then let's just take a quick peek at this. Oh, okay, not much there for us to read. We'll hang on to that as well, and let's call that postcard There's in. There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. What's it say? That he's with his dad and sorry he can't mow his lawn this summer. Oh, gosh. And also, he was worried his dad didn't know when school started. I'd say that's a lucky break if I were him. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Ned didn't really seem like a, you know, with it dad. Oh, there's a little dinosaur. Oh. All right, let's take a read at this. Dear Mr. Zachler, I'm with my dad in Lander, Wyoming. It's pretty neat. Dad fished in a spot called Sinks Canyon. Most of Wyoming looks like home in Nebraska, but then there are mountains and woods when you go far. I'm sorry I can't mow your lawn this summer, but I hope you found a good person to do it instead. Can you write back and tell my dad when school starts? Because I don't think he knows. Your friend and neighbor, Brian Goodwin. Okay, let's go ahead and hang on to that as well. Uh, old pillow seat cushion. You made the place pretty comfy, too. That's an achievement. Yeah, at the expense of what are probably stolen pillows. <laughs> that little shit. Dinosaur, let's pick that up. Ah, oh, little T-Rex here. Drop that back on the ground there. We already looked at the sign. We've read those books. Um, let's put the banners up, shall we? Why not? I mean, Brian really wanted these banners, so let's give it the good college try here. Um, put that one up there. And then let's put this one up there. Okay, nice. Um... Let's just check all this. Oh, there's a comic book. Okay, we'll go ahead and drop that book. 
and call that in. He hide out here to read comics. The black band, his grief is his enemy's sorrow. Everyone this guy loves gets killed, so he honors them with a black armband, which gives him superpowers. Hmm. That's fucking dark. All right, let's pick up these hand-drawn schematics here. Hey, remember that pack I found? Back on your second day? Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was going to get it back. Oh, I'm sure it was quite elaborate. It's some wily e. coyote stuff, I'll tell you that much. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let's hang on to that. I already looked at that. Science homework, and let's pick up the school folder and call I that in. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. And we'll hang on to that. And then let's take the science homework here. Um, Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Oh. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown-up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. Yeah, but not smarter than yours truly, right? <laughs> Wait. Are you seriously feeling threatened by the intelligence of a 12-year-old you've never even met? I'm just saying, Can we climb I'm back up in pretty, here? Uh, no. you know, with it. I'm a pretty bright bulb. Yeah, Henry, you're a regular road Scholar. <laughs> nice. All right, well, let's, um, let's go back around and head into the cave, and we'll go down that long drop, I suspect, now that we got some ropes and uh, the anchors there. All right, so through Brian's little hideout again, let's hop up here, and uh, we'll hop down... Is there like a climbing anchor I need to put in or something? Here we go. Drive pavement into crack. With our Pulaski hatchet, throw some rope down, and let's go ahead and rappel down there. All right. So yeah, this is where we were looking at last time, and I was trying to figure out how to get up there. Okay. What do you think is in there? In the cave? I don't know. What do you think? I don't know, really. I mean, we gotta find out. What do you think? Whatever it is, they don't want you telling anyone about. I mean, they closed the door when they could have just... Bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a... Are you serious with this shit right now? A, a hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? Yeah. No, no but we I need to. I'm probably good. Bring on jail. You'd probably just get probation. I'd be the one stuffed away in the Lusk women's prison for the next ten years. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to the cavern here down this trail and up over the crest of the hill and that should put us put us there oh uh also those girls turned up looks like you didn't kill them nobody did they took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in riverton and uh landed in jail <sighs> dodged a bullet there yeah we've got enough unanswered shit to answer for i'd say <laughs> Okay, back into the scary cave here. Let's uh, let's do round two, shall we? Maybe we should wedge a rock in here this time so they can't lock us in. Then again, I guess we know how to get out. All right, let's see if they slam us in again. It wouldn't be very nice of them. Okay, nothing. Nobody locking us in. Here we go, cracking rock. Drive our our. Uh, Propelling lock into there, and then we're gonna climb on down the long drop. I don't see any cameras, nothing's beeping at us. A lot of shale. Alright, we are at the bottom here. Um, okay, and let's go this way. A lot of root systems, it looks like. No ominous music yet. Hop up here. And down here, clipping through the roof, that's okay. We got another, we got some soot or something? No, that's just a little cave moss or something. All right, we'll jump down. Oof. Uh, anything around here, nothing I see. And then we'll drop down here one more time. <sighs> what is Henry gonna run into? Okay, so we got stuff further down there. Can't go that way, so this way it is then. Here comes the music. So we must be getting close to where we need to be. Uh, there we go. I don't know, Henry was getting caught up on something. 
Nice. Oh. That's... There's something here. Um... Oh, shit. That's a body. Fell in. Wow. Oh, God. It looks like a boy. Woof. Ugh. We can't call this in? Well, Delilah probably can't hear us right now. Ah, poor... Mm. That's why Dad ran away, probably. Okay. Deeper into the cave we go. Wow. That's a... That's... That's something. That's not what I expected. I was thinking like some government like surveillance equipment or something. Were they just trying to get us to find the body so they can arrest the dad? I feel like that's a lot of effort and work for for that. No, there's got to be something else down here. All right, let's keep going this way. Wow. All right, looks like we can climb up over here. All right, hop this rock here. All right, and we'll hang our corner here and up over this rock and drop down. One more time over here, it looks like. A lot of work. And drop down. And a long drop and okay, we're outside the cave. I uh, I thought we were going to find, like, I don't know, secret government equipment or something. Not not Brian Goodwin's body. Like, that's that's not how this... Why? Why would it do that? Okay, a lot of smoke here as we come up. Let's, uh, we got to call Delilah and tell her what's going on. Hey, D. There you are. I've been worrying my ass off. <sighs> hey, you um might want to take a seat. I've been sitting this entire time. I'm almost always sitting. What's... what's wrong? The only thing in the cave was a body. A body? God, what a mess. Delilah. It's Brian Goodwin. <sighs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. Huh? How does that... <sighs> what? I don't... <sighs> How? Climbing? I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. Mm-hmm. Whoever is out there did it. They killed him. Can we just put this stupid shit aside for a minute? That boy is dead. He was just a sweet kid. They didn't kill him, okay? Why kill a boy? I don't know. I'm sorry, Delilah. I'm so sorry. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. I don't know where he'd be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. I... There's... there's... there's nothing to say. Hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway. Okay. Wow. Not... like I said, not what I expected. Let's, yeah, pack all of our stuff up here. Um, yeah, who is listening? The folder. Um, postcard. Let's open our desk drawer here. Can we take the book? No, let's... You see that plane? Oh, we're going to take uh, no, our photo. just busy packing up. Well, there's going to be a lot more. The service says this thing is 2% contained. Well, is this the flapjack fire or the site fire or well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster they're renaming it after my lookout you about packed up shouldn't we talk for a sec you know about things about what about what happened to brian i don't have much to say i'm fine i'm sad i'm whatever I keep thinking about him down there, and... I just want to get far away from here. 
What can I do? We just have to wait for the helicopters. Okay. Oh, Until we're then, chirping now. Follow that signal. Maybe. Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us. Who whoever made the tape. God, smoke. Okay. Yeah, um look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. All right, look, if if something happens, I'll remember you. I was hoping you'd have a backup plan or something. Yeah, um, okay, I'm probably gonna move to Canada. <laughs> Ontario, maybe. No, I meant if something happens to me. Right, if you don't find out who made the tape and I have to hit the road. Forget it. Be safe, Henry. Okay, I think we got everything. We took the photo, we took the tape, we got cards. I can't take any of the other evidence. No, it's not letting me grab anything else. Uh, we'll take the tracking device. Alright, I think that's that's everything. Oh, let's here we go. We haven't taken any photos this entire time. Take some photos of that, and then let's back out of that. Okay. Out we go. God, that smoke is that smoke is something. But I guess the game is called Firewatch. It wouldn't be a <laughs> Wouldn't be called Firewatch if there wasn't actually a fire. So let's, um, let's see where we need to go. This way, it looks like. We'll follow the signal down the path here. I, I, I don't know what's going on. Guys, comment on down below. Sorry, I don't know what else to say at this point. I think we need to take a left up here. Um, no. More that way. Okay, let's go back this way then. Keep our run on here. Some of these trees fell since last time? I can't tell. Let's go back over here. There's the supply catch. So we're heading out to Jonesy Lake. Uh, kind of this this way. It's getting a little quicker on the beat. Okay, let's check out the map here. So I think up and around. Okay. Let's keep going this way. I think I went the wrong, long way around, but that's okay. Yeah, we need to head this way. Another plane flying overhead. I'm gonna sneeze here. Hold on, sorry. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and jump cut, and I will see you guys when something happens. What's your status? I think I'm getting close. All right, well, I just got word that they are coming to get us. My place. You sound worried. No, it's... it's just... Brian? I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north. Far. Past where you found that cut back in May. There's an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point at my lookout. Okay, so we're getting out of here soon. But we gotta figure out what this beep is. We're getting close. We are getting close here. Oh, that raccoon. Wasn't the raccoon over here? Why'd we put it away? Oh, ha! Walked right past it. Henry, climb up. Uh, we might as well call it Someone in. Someone left a rope for me to climb up. I'm down near the lake. How do you know it's for you? There's a tracking collar tied to it. Someone was leading me here. And there's another tape. Oh my god, Henry. This is getting deep. Okay, can we take the cassette? Can we play the cassette? That's my next question. Yeah, hi Henry. Hey, you better find this before it burns up. We've been causing each other a lot of headaches. Now I gotta go stake out a site that's as fit for living as the one you're about to find. You'll get it when you see it. You can't blame me for keeping an eye on you. Not after bumping into you back in May. Down by the cave for crock's sake. I've been up here for three years. I kept it cozy. 
Winters are harsh as hell. And this Ned? I ran out of books. But I got that antenna rigged up, and Delilah, she's a she's a record you don't gotta flip. I kind of get why Brian took to her. About a week ago, I stopped worrying about you finding anything out, and that's right when everything went shit house with you two. <laughs> you guys don't know anything about having kids, all right? Nobody knows nothing. It ain't Andy and Opie walking down the lake to fish every afternoon. It ain't Mayberry. But you gotta know, I didn't kill him. All right, we were climbing. I was teaching him. Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just... He just fucking didn't sink his anchor the right way. You know, I thought about going back, having to answer questions, and having to get him put in the ground, and... I didn't see the point. Don't come looking for me. Sorry about your wife. Whoa. We found the surveillance operation. Okay, what does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us. Just him. Ned Goodwin? He made the tape? Yeah. He's gone. He's deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. The... Because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking son. Y you need to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Okay. Okay, let's call some of this stuff I guess in. He's been dumping trash up here for a while. And then we got a hatch. No, we can't call it in. Let's, I'm assuming this is his house, or his shelter. He has quite a bit of stuff in here, wow. Get our flashlight on here. Some bed rolls, uh, wizards and wyverns. He held on to some of Brian's things, his wizards and wyverns. Yeah, well, I'm sure he found it riveting. Okay, so he loved his son, a Father's Day card. Nothing, just some of Brian's stuff. Hold on to that. Let's call in the photo. He's a nice looking kid. Yeah. Read photo up, oh, okay. A missing persons fire. Hang on to that. Alright, what else? Old battery. Some food stuff, socks, list of supplies. Let's go ahead and read that. Winter needs 89. Summer weight gain goal, 35 pounds. Okay, we're gonna hang on to that. Uh, what do we got over here? Top writer, research site info, pick up. He wrote down everything he did to us. And everything he did every day. He was scared shitless. <laughs> I bet. Okay, let's hold on to that for evidence. Um, Call this in too. Goodwin was the one who wrote the reports I found at the site. No response. Okay, we'll take that. Old typewriter. Some camping stuff. Let's see what we got here. Um, oh, okay. Traits. Guilty. For Henry. Okay, let's go ahead and take this. And Delilah didn't even make it. Okay, hang on to that. Report. Let's go ahead and read this one. Passive, forthright, no kids. Abandoned wife of 11 years. Would not be missed if removed. Wow. Okay. What'd that say at the bottom there? Sergeant got... Ooh, okay. We're gonna hang on to all of this here. So there was there was some things going on here. Nice workbench. You see some of the stuff he was working on. I guess he had a lot of time on his hands. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I don't Trackers. know what you want me to say. We're in the middle of a fire that is at 22,000 acres and growing fast. It's going to burn all of this up. Well, take a picture if you're so keen to remember it. You're not? I don't know. 
She's not wrong. Let's take some photos of this here. More stuff. Some firewood. Some more junk. Battery bank. He was rigging up stolen batteries to keep his stuff going. This boombox looks familiar. From the girls. No response again. Alright, let's, um, let's take a photo of this. And all the smoke. There's Delilah's tower. Lawn chair. He had quite the view. Uh, just for old time's sake, let's go ahead and uh, clean this up. Cleaned all up all the other beer cans. He's got a radio base station up here. He was listening to us on that. Okay, let's take a photo of that. And then uh, back out. Good one's view, Delilah's tower. Oh, Two Forks Tower. He could see my lookout. Alright, so let's go ahead and head out. And then we will um, take a photo of this as well. Take a photo of some of the other stuff. And for funsies, let's take a photo of the fire. Alright, so now we gotta head up to Delilah's Tower, and I think that'll be the end of the game. Wow. Um, unless we bump into Ned here and he tries to like assault and or kill us here very soon. We should probably grab a photo of of this. Alright, and let's um, let's hop down this rope here. That's that is not at all what I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be some sort of like government, spy agency, CIA, FBI. Not, not a dad. Not a, a a person, you know, running from his past. From a, at least from what he told us, um, you know. So I could go up that way, or we could go back up and. All right, let's do that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut till we get something a little closer and I will see you guys in a little bit. had his photo, you know? I don't want to hear it. He, he obviously didn't want to forget him. He just didn't know what to do. Henry, not knowing what to do isn't okay. When you're supposed to look after someone, you... You figure it out. Yes. And Ned Goodwin is a shithead who is incapable of figuring anything out. I'm sorry. God, it would have been so easy to tell the truth and have him sent home. I can't stop thinking about it. You didn't do anything wrong. You said it yourself. It was Ned's job to look after him. Yes, I did. And now I've got to decide whether I tell people that he's down there so they can retrieve the body or not. And if I do, I'm going to be asked about Ned Goodwin. 
D? Oh, fuck. Is that a helicopter? Yeah, hold on. Hey. No, there's one more. Yes, here, yeah. Yeah, he's coming. We need to move. Okay, uh, one second. Hey, they're here, but they're making rounds. They'll come back. Um, I think I'm gonna go with them. What? We don't get to meet her? Uh, yeah, that's a that's a good idea. Yeah. I mean, it's dangerous here, and and if anything were to happen, then that would be on me. So. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um, you sure that's okay? I said it was. All right. Um, I should go. Have a safe flight. All right. Have a safe hike. All right. So just down and then around by the cave here. Okay. Back into the cave for one last one last visit. We could go say hi to or bye, I guess. All right, through here and then up up the mountain, I think. Right? Yeah. Okay. We're doing good. Oh, let's hop over this. All right. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and jump cut, and I'll see you guys when something else happens. All right. We are coming up on the little pulley cable car here. Let's hop into this. Hey, I'm at the evac spot near the ravine. Delilah, are you there? No, she's already on the helicopter, Delilah. my man. All right, let's pull ourselves across. Now, if you guys have never used these, they're actually pretty cool. I used this, something very similar, out in Vancouver Island when I did a backpacking trip out there. God, it's been five or six years now. It, it, they're kind of cool, they're fun gets you across the ravine and there we are um there's our symbol the firewatch symbol i'm assuming we i don't know did it just automatically bring us up here because i don't see the cable car guessing we came up from down here let's hop to our map here oh uh, we don't even have a map anymore well let's head back down here and see I just want to see what it looks like. We've never been up here. And, oh, it blocked it off. Okay. So let's go back this way. As the game wraps up here, guys, again, give me your final comments. Let me know what you think happened. Or we know what happened, but, you know, give me your final thoughts. It's, I hear the helicopter. Or is that a plane? That's a plane. Um, you know, that's <laughs> not what I, I thought it would be. Uh, just a weird I shouldn't say I don't I don't know what to say <laughs> uh, I am for a, a lack of lack of words at this point let's check out Delilah to Delilah's tower here looks like it's the same I wonder if she left us a note or anything it's a little nicer than ours um, some sort of gambit someone's gambit okay we'll put that back down Turn that little desk light on. Let's see if we can make a final Hello? call. Is anybody there? Hi. Y yeah, it's me. I'm back at the staging area near the trailhead. I think I see your truck. Red, Colorado plates. Yeah. It's a piece of shit. Well. Yeah. I think there might be a raccoon living in it. <laughs> Make sure he's comfy, I guess. Hey, it shouldn't take long for the helicopter to reach you. Okay. There's a debrief in a situation like this. Lots of questions. Ah, shit. So, taking stock, we found out an old lookout killed his only son and decided to become a lonely hermit. Yes. And we prevented one fire? basically started another. Okay, so that's a wash. Oh, I'll have to figure out what I'm doing every summer from now on that isn't this. You're not coming back? No. And you'll have to... I don't know. Yeah, me neither. I don't know what's next. Tell you what, why don't you choose for me and I'll choose for you. <laughs> All right, sure. Um, maybe 
Come to Boulder, move to Santa Fe. I think you'd make a good shrink. Um, no. Maybe move to Santa Fe. Open a jade emporium with your sister. Hmm. I'd be trading cute ski bombs for yoga retreat hippies, but maybe that's not all bad. Plus the margarita situation? I mean, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so what about me? I think you should go to Julia. And then you can figure it out. Maybe put that typewriter to good use. Give me a sexy accent or something if you write about this. <laughs> I, um... Yeah. You gotta go see her. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Sure. Henry, I... <sighs> Look, you came out to put your memories behind you, and they're still right there in front of you. You're right. I mean... I think you're right. Good. When I get back, maybe I could, um... We shouldn't focus on this summer. Next year we'll roll around, and then the year after that, and then it's just a... Uh, I don't know. My Aunt Judy called it a pause in the hallway of time. <laughs> Did your Aunt Judy smoke a lot of pot? Yeah. Well, you should try to take her advice, too. Yeah, we'll see. There's the helicopter. They'll land back where you hiked up. Good luck, Henry. Hey, you too. Good luck. No. Henry, you keep it for yourself, okay? Bye, Hank. <laughs> uh, we're gonna... We, we gotta take this drawing. That... The bottle of tequila... No, we'll put that back. We we don't need the tequila. Anything else? No. Let's head on down to the helicopter here. Making all sorts of noise. Alright, down we go. Oh, there was a binoculars so she could look out and see us. Oh, man. What a game. I really enjoyed it, guys. Um, I mean, it wasn't anything super crazy but what a good story it kept us on our toes the entire time i really liked it i'm so glad i could play it with you guys here on tooth and scrubs gaming as we head into the helicopter don't forget to like the channel subscribe and come on back and we'll see you in the next game as we hop on the helicopter here thank you so much and i'll let the game play us out